from the stream. Oh, uh, okay, I see. From like the game. So it was, it was sensory overload. <laughs> oh, what's up, Salty? We're gonna get started in a second. We've got Big Whooper on commentary today. Yes, Big Whooper. <laughs> Can you guys hear a Whooper? Or do you need me to turn him up? Hello, You're hello, good. hello. You're gonna have to start chipping away at those squats soon. 815 of them? That's pretty rough. <laughs> <laughs> I would on practice five. your forms. Like, Whooper's a bit don't... loud? Is all oh, of shit. Discord loud, or...? Am I a bit loud? Hello? Hello? Testing, testing. Hello? 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 Um, maybe. <laughs> Thank you so much, Salty. Salty. Incredibly helpful. Testing, testing. One, two, three. So, it feels like it's been a while. Like, one week off, I don't know why. It feels like it's been a long, long time. I feel like the lighting in your room changes dramatically every time you stream. No, it's just the time of day. It's like, <laughs> so, I have like one window and depending on like literally a five minute difference, the light changes completely. How psychedelic, I guess. I can make it I mean, like... it's like warm lighting. Like you look like you're like in the middle of a, a really intense sunset. Oh, that's just your room lights. Okay. Yeah, that was my room lights. <laughs> What's up, Gal? Oh no. No, let's not go. <laughs> More squats. Squat stream is gonna be real rough, man. Like yeah, if you Friday's do it badly if you do it badly, you're not gonna be able to do anything the next day. I know. But just the next day you might hurt your knees for like a few years. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be careful with it. Looper is here. I'm Looper. We're, I, I'm not afraid of us not making 1k. <laughs> Let me put it that way. I cap it at 1k, right? Yeah, 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 absolutely. I'm gonna cap them at, at 1,000. gonna get started in just a second we're waiting for some more uh, just a couple more games to finish we're gonna run top eight winners and a lot of losers so we're gonna see a lot of matches today we got make up faces. for the week we took off yeah we've got new faces though everyone reconnection tested How did I feel after the push-ups? That was pretty bad. That was pretty bad, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Didn't you say you felt it in your legs or something? Yeah, I felt it in my, like, back and, like, down my leg. It was... Okay. It sounds like you gotta work on your form if that's the case. Well, I think <laughs> by the time I hit, like, 900-something push-ups, I was just, like, <laughs> the form was out the window. I was just trying to complete. I ended up laying on the ground at the end of the stream. I couldn't do it. <laughs> I just love the idea of you just laying there and the stream fades to black. <laughs> oh, that would have been scary. That would have been like I lost power. Yeah, <laughs> you just died there that day. <laughs> oh man. Lewis explaining the Messiah drama. Dylan versus Roxy? We could see. Dylan v. Roxy. Yeah, we can see that actually up first in Winter Stop 8. Depending on who comes out of, uh... Yeah, again, I've never seen Comedy Boy play, but... Oh, Salty says Rion's training people in the loser's bracket. <laughs> I hear it. Yeah, I see that. I also, <laughs> my guess is Computadora Phantasma was Rion. Yeah, I, I'm almost 100% sure. That sounded yeah. like a Rion name. <laughs> <laughs> I think Didi might have moved on. 
Yeah, Rian just mentioned for some reason he kicked the computer door of Phantasma. Yeah, the that's why I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Clancy? I pinged him twice. Now, Bracky, Tom pinged you at some point too, didn't he? No, oh, there he, he's typing. Keyword may may. Keyword meme. May me. May may. Oh, wow. May -may. may may. That is how the word is pronounced. May may. <laughs> that wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna face D next. Oh My shit. I've never just used it. It's a shame we didn't actually go with the Wooper and Purist DD commentary because then Wooper would have actually had to carry commentary. <laughs> You know, maybe maybe I'll just sit back and focus on my basil fried rice and you Wooper can carry it from anyway. No love for me. Maybe you knows how six. you've been raw eyewaxing people. I'm not sure. Fucking, he, he tried to anti-air eyewax me when I was warming him up. It, just it doesn't even it. work. It's air blockable. Yeah, but you know where it did <laughs> work? I probably would work, work better. Round one. Uh -huh. I saw the 6C and I reacted with IWEX. Incredible. Wow, you could have done anything else. <laughs> but you chose to go with like the 17 frame start of <laughs> grid breaking super. <laughs> to be fair, I have always. I have Maybe also that's the problem. I have to one button. <laughs> yeah, why do you have that bound to a button? I don't know. I should change it. I just. I just... When I when I iWex, I just hit the VO button and D at the same time. Oh no, Jazz is saying uh, one iWex equals 100 push-ups. If we see another one. <laughs> Beginning with iWex fest. Well, Otako is in bracket today. So yeah. Those of you who are facing him down, He's in be losers. aware. He's gonna be the uh, the bane of losers. I feel like. Is he already in losers? Yeah, Didi dropped him down 2-1. He really hasn't wow. been playing that much recently. Well, Didi said that he was going into this, like, hella cold. Yeah. So, I'm pretty impressed. I haven't seen Didi grinding as much recently. I feel like he's been grinding a lot of Dragon Ball. Okay, well, if he got... played, like, a long play versus me. Oh, he did? Okay. Yeah, like, 18 games. He tried to play against me at some point in rank, but we had, like, a slightly spotty connection, but... Oh yeah, I saw him being like, I don't know why. Yeah, but I think he's fixed that since. Yeah. I'm curious who's gonna come out. Dylan won his first. So that's cool. We could see Dylan Roxy. Yeah, I mean, from what I know of the two of those, between Roxy and Bagel, my guess is Roxy will come up on top. Mm -hmm. But uh, Gord does have a lot of things to shut uh, Seth down in the air, so we'll see. Oh, Pixel has moved up over Tad Cooper. Yeah, that'll be a fun it, it's really, one, actually. It's really fun just kind of watching these, like, populate. Yeah. <laughs> you I kind of understand the appeal of, like, bracketing in sports now. Yeah. I think what I'm going to add... I'm going to try and get it ready for tomorrow. Put it, like, a betting bot so people can bet with, like, faux currency on who they think yeah, they can win. Yeah, they can bet with squats. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> That's for a point so that we can use it for squats. Yeah, actually, can you link it to channel points? Because that'd be cool. I could probably link it to channel points. People can bet channel points. Oh, we are going to see Dylan Roxy. Okay. Should we start running a couple of these? Um, yeah, might as well. Yeah, since Bracky and Tom just like sort of playing. <clears throat> yeah, why don't we just do uh, you versus Dee real quick since you're yeah. in the room anyway. I'm put this basil fried rice away for later and grab myself a beer, I guess. My ping them, and then we'll do Dylan and Roxy after that. Man, I haven't played Dee Dee in so long. He does 4 beyond wake up. Don't let him do it. <laughs> D 
DD, DD won his first set, Muffin. Um, he's gonna play me now. I'm back. Yeah, you did call it, Bobby. I found out the reason why this beer was this cheap. It's because all the labels are printed on upside down. <laughs> it seems common for I to have finish. DD, come on, where'd you go? Okay, well we can just do Tom and Bracky while we wait for DD, I guess. DD, come on. Or Tom and or whoever's No, because water potato first. and Oh I see. Are they actually playing right now? I haven't seen them speak yet. DD, you're up. I think they're playing, right? I would assume they're playing. I'll search for their names. A lot of people just DM each other. Oh, uh, that's true. Yeah, you're up, Didi. You versus me. You know the keyword. I pinged you in tournament callouts. WASD. Even Salty knows it. Sorry, I don't know. I didn't know. Guys, it's bracket. There's a bracket for a reason. There he is. Uh, oh, I gotta oops. mute myself. The stream doesn't hear my salt <laughs> I can't believe I missed the one time that Imperius was actually salty when he was muted. Oh, it looks like he has muted himself, and it's just us, Blooper. Yep. Okay, so have you played much, uh, DD much? I, like I said, I did like uh, 18 game set with him. I went 16 2. Okay, yeah, so you know Imperius play style pretty well. Yeah. How do you think he'll fare against DD? I mean, these two know each other really well, too. Uh, as long as DD doesn't get too close, I think he can win it, because Imperius can get very impatient, but I'm not sure. DD is going to get like, close. Yeah. Yeah, he loves using Yuzu's staggers, which is, you know, a fair thing you can do with Yuzu, because you have Yuzu, for some reason, has some of the best staggers in the game. Yes, but sometimes he just teleports right in front of me just for me to get it. Yeah, that's a habit that he needs to trade himself out of. It's the kind of thing that only works on Netflix. Yeah. Looks like Impierce has the corner against a bit of an American reset there. He also matches on Wake Up, which... There's not really a problem. Yep, speak of the devil. There's, there's no reason to not... Yeah, the only reason to really mash on Wake Up is if your opponent is respecting a reversal, which Yuzu doesn't really have, or if you think the opponent's going to do a run-up throw. Yeah. But Imperius doesn't really do that. Yeah, even when I was warming him up earlier, he like he, he might have thrown like maybe once the entire like four games we played. Oh my god, that 2B is so active. Six frames active or something? What a good shot. Yeah. It's a 9 frame startup button, 6 frames active, and 0 on block. To the point where 2B, 2B is a stagger string for you, Zoo. <laughs> mm. Oh, hey, does Wagner he it? Does he? What is uh, Wagner's 2C on block? It's minus 5, but the stagger window is almost like as long as her recovery. Ah, oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, so it's kind of like uh, Byakuya 2B then in the same way. Yeah. Oh, Imperius fails to block the cross up teleport. Looks like he just wasn't ready for that one. Oh, no. So, I have a question about Wagner combos. Do you have to use FF in your combos? Because Imperius just lost Grid Cycle because of that FF that he used in the middle of that combo. I mean, you don't need to, but that's the way you get lost in the middle of the combo. But, mm -hmm. like, if you think you want, like, purple, like, if it's not gonna kill, you can just, like, forego the FF and just do, like, 2C I see. instead of, like, 3C. I need to incorporate I see. them. Well Didi takes the first match with a really nice confirm off that Bato. Yeah. 
Imperius uh, looking a little... I don't know, I feel like a lot of the time he's just not blocking the cross-up teleports. Um, and that's yeah. a big part of why he's getting hit. Good job shielding those slashes, but then tries to do something and gets hit by Yuzu 5B. Not a great button for Yuzu, but it has a huge stagger window and... Um, it's pretty big, I guess, but it's not as big as it looks. Oh, wait, this is like a legit throw combo. Didi's been grinding. Oh, but he doesn't complete an Imperius with a big up here. Can you get uh, buffs after IW hits? Uh, if you have Vorpal, you can get two. Okay, well he has uh, one there, so... You don't have four pulls, you have to go for, uh, what is it? One buff and save jump, because you can get grabbed out of, uh... I see. Oh, okay, nice call out on the shielding. Maybe that was 180. That was shield. Yeah. Oh my god, he tried to 236A and it got the input got crossed up into a 214A right into the yeah. corner. Super lucky for Imperius and now he has nice block. No, DD, that overhead is minus 10 on block. You gotta react a little faster. 5D would have hit it. And like, 5 nerd can't really DX the ball and feel like he's not safe. Mm. Oh no. Nice throw. Damn. And just a run up throw. This can kill. Oh, but he doesn't convert. And does not punish. It's a difficult punish. VO. And Actually, that was a total. Think so. It's another 1 1. Thoughts on thing was weirdly awkward. I was just like playing, commentating with no music going on in the background, just like, listening to utter silence. I'm glad Didi didn't choose uh, the stage or music. <laughs> oh, nice stagger. Oh, uh, Yusu's staggers are so good. Counter hit 5C, this is going to be pretty decent damage, even in the corner. And I'm sure it's just not. Yeah, DD's got to learn his meaty timings. I suggest that would be the next thing he grinds out and uh, do a combo and try to get the meaty. Oh, he didn't do the follow up. Wait, did he not have sword buff? He did. He did. He did. He did. Oh no. Imperius reacting a little too late, but she still gets the combo. It seems. Didi tried to 4 B, and that's why he's gonna get better low. Yeah. Curious on set point. And doing the classic Imperius thing where he just. He loves he round jump or jump back J236B. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, that was. And Didi has plus. Uh, he had a uh, shield buff, and that's basically plus at any range. It's even when you're like right in front of them, but like, it's not really a good enough. Oh no, he doesn't get the knockdown, but it's okay, still got pressure. Oh no, DD wanted uh, 236B there after that 60. No, it was okay. no. Nice! And this one punishes. Goes for the easy, easy corner combo. Oh no. And he gets it. This can kill. Oh no, no way. <laughs> I don't. Maybe with Iwax. Ah, uh, maybe. But All right. he loses to Imperius 2 1. Unfortunately. Pretty good set. Um, yeah, DD's got to learn his meaty timings uh, after getting a combo. I feel like a lot of the time, he, yeah, a lot of the time he would just sit in stance in front of Imperius on his wake up, and Imperius would just mash two A or five A. Good Imperius. Thank you. Oh. Dylan's in here. Well, Dylan's gonna be up next because I already paid to Dylan and Roxy. I see. Good games, Didi. I think in Dylan versus Roxy, Roxy has a bit like 
have an advantage, I would say, because Dylan has said in his stream that he doesn't really know Seth. Kind of surprising. I feel like Dylan grinds ranked pretty often, and I usually find a decent number of Seths on ranked. And of course, there's no shortage of Seths in the WASD server to play against, so... That's true, there's a lot. Although, and Eli's been missing recently. Eli's not in the server anymore. What? Really? Yeah, he left. He likes to keep his servers trimmed down, apparently. Ah, uh, fair enough. Hey, Star, thanks for the raid. I'm stoked to see how far Dylan's gonna go this week. I think he can do really well. He got third at the last one. Yeah, these two who are about to play are like um, the two big hopefuls, I feel like, for a lot of people. Um, they both have really clean play and are kind of always striving to improve, so it's a lot of fun watching both of them. I don't know how often we see the two of them play against each other, though. I've never seen them play. Alright, we got lore matchups. Yeah, Seth versus Hyde. Are they going to pick the Gordo versus Chaos music, though? Okay, that's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> There's a whole freaking Seth versus Hyde OST track for this in exact matchup, but it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> oh, How are we dice rolling? Round start? Apparently not. Oh, fast fall into the fireball. It doesn't convert off that. 660. Just throws out an orb in the middle of pressure. Dylan tried to do something there. I mean, set 6C is not a good overhead. It's super reactable, so. Uh, I, I, was, I said 6B for Dylan. Oh, I see. Hide 6B is great. Nice run up throw. Yeah, he knows that. Oh, oh, he doesn't get the conversion. That would have been sick. Really back and forth. Yeah, I feel like we haven't seen a full combo out of either of these two quite yet. A lot of just trading little hits back and forth. Nice attack on the gold throw. Nice throw. Ooh, gets hit by the charge FF overhead. Uh, it's high, so I broke it. Yeah, for oh, oh, oh. yeah. That was bizarre. Yeah. Wow, what a scramble at the end of that round. Roxy was totally just reaching for something there because he did fastball into 5A. Oh, Dylan fought the assault. Drop the combo again. <laughs> trying to concentrate. Getting caught by the fireball. Okay, let's see how Dylan uses CS and pressure here, maybe. Chose to use meter instead. I'm not sure. Oh. Oh, he tried to DP, but he got 2P instead. But it's okay. Oh, man. I heard the throw oh, yeah. sound effect for oh, oh. side. Nice throw attacks. Ooh, what? Oh, that was oh. sick. Nice. Okay, A blink uh, counter. That was what an exchange. Yeah, he, he whip canceled into the CDP. Very good judgment call on Roxy's part there. I knew that he didn't have to commit to anything with the war battle. Well, 5cc traded with the fireball. This is the throw combo. Okay, Dylan's got CS here. Oh, he tried to CS, but he got crossed up there, is my guess. Well, that's why that core yeah. came out. Yeah, against Seth, I generally do 2 DD. Oh, for the tried to punish, uh, but then gets caught by the orb. The orb makes that setup safe. Dylan's matchup inexperience against Seth working, uh, not working out for him here. Uh, the block overhead. 
Roxy converting. This is good stuff. Damn, that off an assault starter? And Dylan. I tried to beat grab him. What the fuck? Dylan's got CS here. Oh, mashes out with the six frame two V. Sick button. Oh, they're both straight into it. Apparently, you sound low in comparison to us. I sound low. Okay. Is that a little bit better? Or am I still low, Nick? My CC. Roxy is truly unpredictable matching with an A button. Oh, nice. And Raga. Well, not Raga. Nice dash. Oh, oh, but doesn't get it. Counter hit 2 2 A. No conversion off that. Is there a way to convert off that? Nice. All the sets in chat popping off right now. Dylan still has CS. Oh, oh, I don't know if he tried to tech the throw early. I must be a little behind you guys. What buttons does Hyde have that are big enough to punish like that? Like whipped kind of sides with him set. If you want so big buttons, six B is probably the go-to. <laughs> wow! Wake up, right? <laughs> That's wild. Nice tag. Mm. Roxy had CS there, you didn't need to do anything. Okay, Dylan. Oh, I see your combo. Big high damage. Oh, that would have, would have had uh, it. Oh, okay. And Stamp doesn't get the full combo at the C grab. Yeah, nice. Oh, it's tragic. Oh, 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 wow, we're gonna just QC with 6B. Uh, <laughs> tries to be enabling. Uh, okay, another one, and Dylan falls for it this time. Oh, but Roxy doesn't get the conversion off with 5C. Dylan's a very oh. analytical player. I feel Dylan like had those whiff punishes. That was sick. Oh, but yeah. So set 2B is a great six frame low, but it is essential. Oh, we went for the uh, dagger CBO combo. And he also didn't uh, do anything with his plus three frame advantage after that block CBO. Oh, he just one one. Dylan, once he like starts to download and really get the info down, he's uh, he's scary. Yeah. <clears throat> that CBO must have been an accident because Dylan didn't lose so. his frame advantage there at all. Character select. Oh. Is that the color change of us? Maybe, or maybe it's just taking a second. I'm betting Dylan's reading his chat while playing as usual. I mean, sure, man. I mean, we don't have any kind of enforced limit on coaching or whatever. We can't control people being in Discord calls and the like as they play, so. Or is it Song OS? Maybe, maybe that's what it was. <laughs> did they change the song? I think he did. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, so they're both one one. <laughs> oh wow, what such conservative round starts? It's like literally the opposite of every one of my round starts. Wow, mashes out with five C versus that high pressure. They're Pretty respecting bold. each other a ton. <laughs> the road whip is so plus. Tries to match out with five A and trades with high five A. Okay, Roxy matches out with 5C and it works this time. 
Bronx's execution improved so much. Yeah, good stuff. He's really converting well off these. 4K, like... Oh, wow, just brazenly concentrating in his face. Tries to B-dive him. You gotta believe in that 2A. I'm amazed that Dylan tried to mash something there after oh, the CS. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That B grab must have been the rest of the combo, but he wasn't expecting that DP to bolt his drop. Nice tech from Dylan. Dylan's getting something off of all of his hits, I'll say that. Even if it's not a full combo, he's getting, like, at least a couple extra hits. I don't care, what do you beat up? Rocks is so scary. Ooh, the run up delay throw, scary stuff. There's the orbs. Oh, Roxy gets yes. No fear and matches for speed. <laughs> Trades with the charge force function with 5C, 6 6C starter. Oh, and just lands the meat on the air tech. The thing I'm really liking from Dylan so far is he's very, very aware of the orbs. Like, he pauses his pressure when he knows the orb's gonna, like, break. Mm -hmm. And just block. Gotta respect C orb there. That was really weird. C orb uh, hit, pushed him out of the range for Assault JC. And a meaty 5A, Dylan doing something on wake up there. Roxy's got CS. Oh, try to dash C. The almighty push C. Okay. Oh, okay. And that's when they start getting into your head. Oh, Dylan can kill here. Oh, oh drops it though. Oh, no. This could cost him the whole thing. This is a uh, set point for both of them. What did he see? Yes, I'm going Oh, oh my god, wait, was he gonna kill all this? Oh, but he drops it! The robbery? Oh, the robbery! <laughs> and the Rago 623C! Oh, Roxy's a villain. He's just a bandit. Oh my god. Wild. Really close. A ton of scramble, like real Super frantic close. scramble at the end of that round there. Scary stuff. Yo. Oh man, chat is in shambles. <laughs> Dylan, our hero. <laughs> Dylan's not out yet, guys. Yeah, that was the winner's bracket. Oh, so, oh, oh Dylan, oh, Dylan oh, wants oh. the run back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now we've got Pixel and Burial Agency. How well does Pixel play? I have, I've been actually constantly. I, so, I feel like Burial Agency is kind of out of practice. I think. I played them both. I want to say I think Burial Agency has the slight edge here. Uh oh, Burial Agency typing three Wagners in the chat saying. Yeah, he's a Wagner. Oh, for the three, three Wagner maze in this lobby. He, the last time we saw Burial Agency, I feel like was in that cursed Wagner Yuzu tournament. Oh wait, was he I wasn't in there? I thought he, he was in there. He was definitely in there. Because we had all no, the Wagners. No, that was Clarai. That was Clarai and someone else. But I, I think I you're forgetting how many Wagners we had. No, I, I, I'm i pretty sure he wasn't in there. Oh, Wooper, can you drop down? For Pixel? Okay. Okay. Apologies. So, Wagner versus Linne. See how uh, he didn't really play for like two weeks. Hmm. I don't really have a beat on how good Burial is as a player. Um, I think I've played him like once or twice, but he hasn't played in a while. He said. Yeah, a bit rusty. It's no excuse. <laughs> <laughs> about two weeks ago, I thought we were about to be Oh, okay. I'm watching him, but I'm not sure about him. Wow, wild round star from Pixel. Just round start FF, uh, roll through. Lots of shielding. Oh, tried to A Kuga at point blank range. He shielded it. He was close. He took a smash. Pixel's got CS here. Let's see if he knows how to use it. Drops the, uh, I think he was trying to see 
Pixel no longer has CS. Burial's got it on offense. This is a dire Pixel. Round one. Yeah, Pixel definitely seems like uh, the last one. <laughs> Pixel knows how to use the tools that uh, Uni gives, though. Oh, th okay. Good combo. <laughs> He's actually, he knows that combo is going to side switch. Yeah, so. If you don't want that combo to side switch, you have to delay the air string. But alternatively, you can just assume it's going to side switch every time. Alright, Pixel with the pretty dominant pressure, but then he's got to deal with Wagner pressure on Wake Up. Gets grid broken by 6 c It almost seems like, I'm not, I don't have inputs on, Pixel might be mashing D while holding back, which is just going to give you shield. You have to hit uh, a direction that is not back, or so. Neither 1 nor 4. Convincing game for Burial. A lot of 6 exceeds though. Like, oh, those get punished. I'm sorry if you hear a groaning, but it's my dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that 2C was so weird. Oh, tries to go for the TK uh, B Kuga combos. The drops it. Backdash is out of the dash C. Oh, nice 6 Pretty impressive. 2 C and a 6 C. I don't know what kind of combo he's trying to go for there. That is minus 12. Nice use of C Kuga to keep himself safe. Oh, oh this is the power. Oh, I see. It. it just seems like Pixel doesn't have a conversion on the 2 C yet, so he just defaults to 6 C. Tries to FF on Wake Up and Barrel Angels and punishes it. Interesting combo. <laughs> 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 Did not end the combo with the jump. Tries to jump for a solo. Yeah, yeah, perfect. So yeah. Took that game. Yeah, Pixel um, strikes me as a newer player. I think I was the one who vetted him in terms of skill a few weeks ago. Um, he's definitely playing a lot better from when I played him before because back he then is. he just mashed at death like constantly. Um, and he only did that once, as far as I could tell, in this match. And he's got his combos down. Well, at least um, a decent amount of them. He did drop that TKB Kuga combo in the corner earlier, but otherwise, good stuff. I see uh, definitely definite notes of progression. What was the cursed color? <clears throat> yeah, Roxy. The, the number Burial was asking right for some really cursed Wagner skins. Next we have Tom Clancy and Rai... Rygalon? Rygalon beat Water Potato to get up here, okay. So this is that, like, guitars and whatever guy yeah. in Discord, right? I don't know yeah. who plays. Uh, like, yeah, I don't... Hooper's vetted everyone, <laughs> so... Uh, did I play him? Yeah, his name I, I, I played so many people. Like, like, <laughs> they're kind of like melding together. I just pinged him one more time. We might be able to remember if I see his. Uh, oh, Jasper said, I've played this dude. Do you know who he plays? Or recall? Jazz played him. Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> This Tom guy goes kind of crazy, <laughs> says Omega. He learned a three cat though. Where is he? I pinged him a couple times. He's... I think he's coming right now. Yeah. Says he's not finding the room. Mm. Hmm. 
that a region thing? Alright, well while we troubleshoot this, let's move to the next one then. Yeah, let's do... Oh wait, there he is, oh, there, there he is. is. There he is. White square. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, I think I kind of remember playing this guy. <laughs> now that you remember he's a white square. No, 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 the uh, profile page with the target. I haven't seen a white yeah. square since Mertian came in. I was playing against Levy the other day and he was a white square. He's a Merkava, okay. Oh, wait, that's think I remember. A Merkava player, okay. Legendary newbie. All right, well, I haven't seen anything of Rigelon. Rigelon? I haven't either. But Tom's a very solid player. I don't know how much Merkava matchup experience he has, though. I think the only Merkava that plays a lot on rank is, like, Dr. Phil. Uh, Tom playing super cautiously. Actually, just straight up not doing anything. Oh, doesn't get the second right. He probably want to make himself uh, plus there. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh. You did a throw. What? That was so weird. He. Yeah, Tom. Well, he switched to stand shield. Okay, nice use of CS there. Gets him with the JB. Very fast uh, button. Dragon not blocking low. Wow, guard thrust. I have not seen that in the beginner tourney before. <laughs> That's actually true. The Merkava backdash looks real weird, but it's really good for how much distance it travels. It also has so much involved. Dude, Tom is so patient. He's not even like trying to dash block or anything. He's literally just block block. Yeah, just letting him come to him, I guess. Nice blocks on the overhead. And kills the JC, but I wonder if that's still bugs. I don't think so. I don't think JC's one of those buttons. Cross the gold. Oof. And Tom gets his throw combo. Oh, getting hit by the. Ooh, gets hit by the low. Yeah, the sword strike on the two two is a low. Yeah, he's just gonna and sit back. He just menacingly walks forward. Yeah. Oh shit. Tom's trying to do something during that two and four and gets yoinked by. It. Oh my god. Insane that been a massive bringer. Oh no, Ragon could have won that if he had a combo ready. Uh, Tom getting a little ahead of himself there. My guess is that Failbringer was supposed to be another 2 through 6 C. I think so. I think it was supposed to be a fireball, and it just came out as a DP. I'm really curious what's going through Tom's head right now. Did I lose this? Time? No. No, well, we're just we're just wrapped with the ten like Oh man, did you see? Oh, gets him with the 5A and the 2C natural stagger. Oh, Tom got his square went up? You can go up against a white square? I didn't know that. Uh it could be that uh, Rigalon is like a hidden yellow square beneath the white square, because that's usually how it works. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. White square actually covers up what the true square color is for like 30 or so games. Oh, okay. If they're below orange, they can always go up if they win. Is that really the case? What I find interesting... Is that new as a clear? Yeah, sorry. Yeah. I just find it interesting that Rigalon, like, knew enough to kind of concentrate to try and win grid, but hasn't really used CS. Yeah. He seems almost like he's just trying to use concentrate as a way to bait Tom into being the aggressor. He also doesn't do the... the 5C... like, the, just... the yeah, he's not doing much zoning. Or the... Yeah, he gets his PvP. 
then Mom takes it with a two o. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm very impressed by how patient he was. What match do we have first? We've got Bracky and Water Potato. Yeah, I'm trying to think of comments for Rygalon. I mean, probably learn to make use of the grid system, learn to use CS, because that way you can actually threaten things, like concentrate in neutral. Are we gonna have to kick, uh, right okay, down? <laughs> yeah, so Bracky and Water Potato. I don't remember who Water Potato... Water Potato... Water Potato plays. Yeah, like Mark said, Water Potato as well. Yeah, if you block a Palebringer, you better have your best punish ready. This was the person I was confused about in their skill level. <laughs> I mean, it felt like he had all the right ideas, I just kind of... Okay, well I'm excited kind of about this. Bracky is a player that I've had my eyes on for a while. He gets a little... Um, what's the term? Discouraged sometimes, but he always bounces back. The lone walled player in bracket. Okay, Water Potato's a Lin player, then Bracky's actually got matchup advantage for once. Okay, well, let's what see what the match is. My guess is it's dash B from Wald. Oh no, it's 6C. Right, I forgot that Bracky likes that button for round start. Nice back dash, wow. The combo is gonna go for the reset? Nope, just goes for the B clap ender. It doesn't get the uh, JA. Oh, gets clapped by the overhead. Into a reset. Oh, I don't know what button you tried to get there. Not blocked. Oh. Oh. He thought he had CS, is my guess. Yeah, and then acting up concentrated. Yeah. Okay, Water Potato with a really convincing first round against Bracky. Bracky really needs to block the 5C follow up, I believe. Oh, 5C there. What a. Okay. It's like one of 15 frame startup button. Nice anti air 5A. That button's a great anti air actually. It doesn't technically oh, no. PA. Oh, and CS is for knockdown. Oh, nice. okay. I like the CS choices that Bracken makes. Understands that knockdown, knockdown is really important. Hey, so far, it has combos. But does not get the, I believe, Helm Splitter. Yeah, he, I don't actually know if Helm Splitter is the name of that move. I just, that's just what everyone calls it. Oh, okay, blocks the meaty B clap. I don't think Water Potato's been caught by one of his resets. Ooh, dash B. Okay, Drakey's gonna have CS on wake up here. Ooh, and then gets caught by the overhead. Yeah, 5C charge C is an overhead. And it's one of Lin's best. <laughs> Wake okay. up 360C, that's gonna definitely level the playing field. Wait, dice rolling on Wake up. Oh. oh my god. He's gonna run out of. Oh! <laughs> nice, that 2B range and the B nice. just barely connects after that. Bracky's gotta learn to block that out. overhead though. Jumps over the crazy train. And, but doesn't hurt. punish. Yeah, unfortunate. Oh, interrupts 2B with 2C. Oh, he just does not block the high. Another wake up 360C. Water Potato wasn't even doing anything during That's that one of the reasons he jumped it. I talked with Bracky about sometimes why he doesn't block on wake up. That's actually the crazy crazy. I see. I mean, you're... 
What? Uh, water potato is just backdash for crazy train. Yeah, yeah. The back, yeah, Lin's backdash is considered airborne, so it'll dodge a crazy train. Oh, uh, yeah. I did on the. Oh, Bracky's still in this. Okay. Damn. Okay, he's got CS. Oh, it blocks the overhead, though. It doesn't punish. Oh my uh, god, that poor B. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, the drop. Whoa, 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 okay. Nice, he blocks the overhead and 360 oh! through the Mujin. Oh that was so that was IWs. Oh my god. Oh, Bracky. What Bracky an answer. Thief. That you was thief. insane. No, he wasn't a thief, man. That was amazing. <laughs> that was incredible. What a call out. Finally blocks the overhead and makes Water Potato pay for it. Good stuff. Yo, yeah, Bracky's popping off right now. That's why he's taking a second to hit rematch. You Damn, know who that he is. Was that gap guaranteed? I actually don't know. You know yeah, he's, he's saving that saving replay. That replay <laughs> <laughs> I know 5C charge C has a gap, but after gap into Mujin, or after charge after that move into Mujin, if that has a gap, because that's when Bracky did that IW. Bracky's somebody too who wants to Nice gets neutral going. jump charge 5C. Yeah. Once he gets oh, yeah, no. his is up, he's scary. That's the grappler's soul, man. You start feeling yourself, you feel so good. I got all the reads. I'm so smart. You know the stage jam video. Yeah. Nice. Empty jump 5A. Empty jump mid, always about that. Oh, no. Trading with the 5A. Water Potato loves 2C. I mean, fair. It's a good button. Bracky should have CS there. He probably wanted to clap. No. Nice. Good CS. There this is, is going to kill, I It's going to kill, yeah. Yeah, wow. Yeah, Bracky's really feeling himself right now. And yeah, Mujin does not have a natural gap. You have to time it to get a gap. Yeah. I think Pretty it's sure. Bracky adapting to Water Potato doing the overhead. Water Potato has been relying on that too much. Go about a proper stretch throw. Nice 5B. Oh, it doesn't get the combo. You gotta delay it a little bit, that J6C to hit. Oh, it tries to crap, clap there. <laughs> I can't even speak. Oh no, Bracky, you gotta CS that. Oh, I'm just trying to get the 60 there. Nice by B. Uh, that was interesting. Water Potato didn't go for the charge 5C that time and just no canceled 5C. Okay, Bracky with CS and all the meter in the world tried to do something cute there. C crazy train is my guess. Oh man. No, because if it was 360C, it wouldn't it would have beaten out that dash beat. Hey, Water Potato's gonna take that round. Oh my god, I can't believe it. 5B there is not the best option. It's not a bad option. Oh, Water Potato falls for the crazy time. train. He's been so consistent about that. Nice JB though. I wonder if that's a safe jump setup. Oh, okay, the reset. Yeah. Four B. Oh, gets him with the overhead. That's it. That's gonna kill. Bracky. Yeah, Bracky moves on 2-0. Who does he fight? Bracky. Damn, that was great stuff. This is why I like Bracky. He he adapts. Yeah, <laughs> he adapts and he gets the he gets the grappler groove, man. He does get the groove. He's got uh, he's got that protagonist power. It's the no nah, man. Grapplers are like they're the base in rock when you play Rock Band. You get that times six uh, multiplier and you get that <laughs> sick bass groove background grooving, going yeah. on your fretboard. Yeah. Wait, he's got Pixel next, which is gonna be another Lin, right? <laughs> <laughs> Now we got Hilda with Heo to go versus Max. It's assuming Heo to go plays Hilda. He, people have been saying that he picked up Lin recently. Oh, Bracky the Rat plays, Exterminator. Uh, <laughs> I'll be right back. Why does Wald beat Lin? I don't really play Wald or Lin, eh, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> My understanding is that just like she just has trouble kind of really getting in on him. 
Uh, maybe like also, Valve has really good anti-air buttons, so that you can't really yeah. do like rat stuff by jumping up in there. <laughs> rat stuff. <laughs> oh, Max. Uh, I think this this matchup, Odoko versus uh, Max. It really depends on who gets the first hit, because Odoko kind of falls apart once you get a hit on him. Yeah, like, that's true. His combos are pretty solid, but I feel like his defense yeah. is lacking. I wonder if he still, like, VOs the second somebody gets in on him. I think if Odoko can get, well, gets going, I think, well, he'll win. I bet. Thanks, we're just waiting on Odoko. I don't know where he went. see. Well, yeah, I'm curious to see. I haven't seen Odoko play in a while, but um, my impression of Odoko is like, he's pretty solid, but he has a kind of like uh, an attitude problem. Um, there are times where he, like, if he gets cornered, at least when he's playing Hilda, he just straight up gives up. Hilda does not have a meterless DP or even a meter DP unless it's like a IW. So I guess it can get rough, but... <laughs> yeah, but that's, that is no excuse to just, you know, stop pressing buttons altogether. Yeah, she Hilda does have J2C, which can really mess other people up. Yeah, I mean, I agree with Eggplant also. He's a little bit of a mashier Hilda and doesn't have his... Uh, I mean, I haven't played him in a while again, but for his Hilda, he doesn't have his like further range pressure completely labbed out sometimes, it feels like. He's, he's in the room. On that. I know he's been working on that. Mm -hmm. I was in his drawing stream last night. He was telling me he's been working on that pressure. Cool stuff, okay. Otako doesn't have a feel for defending versus pressure, so he just guesses and it feels hopeless. Yeah, no, I understand. I mean, when you're first starting out in this game, or like, you know, even when you're at like the early intermediate levels of this game, it can be real hard to deal with like actual well-structured pressure to the point where you just go like, what do I do? I have no idea. Okay, Max Wagner versus Otako Hilda. Looks like Otako will be going with Hilda. I think it really depends on how much magic experience Max has with Hilda. Good shielding from Max here. Really patient. Hits him with the 6C. Oh. Yeah. oh, doesn't do the rest oh, of the combo. Combo. Yeah, that's what I noticed when I played Max earlier. Is that he doesn't really get much off oh, of grid break combo. Oh, grid break 6C. Overhead's unlocked. Oh my god. Uh. Ooh, okay, gets him with the 50-50. Doesn't -50. <laughs> convert fully off of it. Otako jumps in. Content to play the full game, uh, full screen game here. Oh, let's... Max trying to dash lock in. Yeah, punishes the dash B or uh, dash C whip. Okay, gets both buttons. Okay. That was like the first full combo I've seen from Max today. Nice. I don't really agree with Max just doing a wait and see approach against Hilda. Hil uh, Otaku didn't have 200 meter or anything, so he actually just didn't have a reversal that he could have done. Oh, okay. But oh, I think wait, that's I'm like sure. match on familiar. Really all the way to the corner of Hilda. I get why he waited, Trip. Like, I feel like he's probably not familiar with Hilda. Yeah. And so just playing it really safe. Yeah, I mean, rule of thumb, meaty the zoner. Um, generally, generally how fighting games go. Oh, tries to oh, and jump assault. Interesting. I can't tell if Otako is just mistiming these meaty or if Max is actually doing delayed wake up. Nice. Oh, okay. Nice rebeam. Charge okay. that. That's. That was a threatening string. That rebeat into dash yeah. C charge FF was Not real enough. scary. Yeah, I definitely would have gotten hit by that. Really nice. Okay, well, Max with the first game versus Otako. Uh, it really does seem like, you know, this is the classic rushdown versus zoner match at the moment yeah. Wagner gets Hilda into the corner. Things look real dire. Oh, tries to grab. Nice punish on the whiffed dash C. Oh, it doesn't get the full confirmed though, but dash B. Uh, 
I think Otako, I don't know much about Hilda because I don't play these kinds of characters in this game, but he can definitely be canceling these dash beats into special moves. 63A is such a good move in clear. It's only like, what, minus two or something? Oh, with DP! Oh, nice. I don't know if he was going to keep him out. That was actually interesting. That DP punished like 2A, 2A, and then he reset him with a counter hit. Max was mashing something during that. Yeah. One interesting thing I've noticed about Max is that he doesn't stagger, but he rebeats. So he just matches out his string, rebeats, and then dashes back in. Oh man. If you don't stagger along with your rebeats, it's less effective. Nice 6B. I don't really know what Otaka's trying to do with these J2Cs. Oh, runs right into the O. Yep. That's interesting. I don't know what Max was trying to do. That first hit at 2CC is a mid. I have not seen that route from him before. Ooh. You know Max wanted to 6B there, but yeah. gets beaten out by the 5A. 5A is well, like what? A rematch from button. both. No. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Pagliacci joke refashioned for hide players. <laughs> okay, yeah, good. Oh, but then Grid breaks him with the overhead. Yeah. Yeah, his dash block timing's off. He's gotta take a second and collect himself. Oh, doesn't get the conversion. Oh, oh, Max assaults over the 2C! No! Oh, that's an assault slot. Oh, you can't charge four assaults. Oh. Wait, did he oh, get my locked up for me? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay looks like we're here again. That was weird. Okay, Otako well, on set point. Max looking a little too impatient here. Everybody this week. Or... <laughs> Can you not confirm off of the dash? Nice 6B. That was a great interrupt. That is such a weird ender. <laughs> he always goes for the 2C instead of... Like, the VO. I mean, VO plays that a the hard place to play. If you don't have strength throws, not Oh, Max, not blocking the overhead. You won't get much damage off this, but I will yeah, IW get it out. Yeah, Odako takes it. With the evil laugh to boot. Odako takes it. Alright, Otako with more. the with the adaptation. Looked a little shaky that first game, but yeah. just didn't let Max in, and Max just got a little too impatient trying to approach. Oh man, Dylan's gotta go up against him next. Okay, we got Bagel D, or as uh, some people prefer to call him, Beige ID. Yeah, I don't, I don't, those people are wrong. Beige ID? <laughs> Baga ID? Versus Comedy Boy. <laughs> okay, chat is just calling him Beige ID. I'm sorry, Bagel, I've doomed you. <laughs> Beer Age ID. Bag E. I are these lowercase L's or uppercase I's? I can't tell. Where is Comedy Boy? Oh man. Chat is getting hyped up over Beige ID. The get ID. <laughs> He's a a Gordo player, right? Yes, he is yes. a Gord player. He is a Pixels uh, friend. Yes, that's right. <clears throat> Gord God. Comedy. Wow. Okay, Eggplant real, really repping the Gord in chat. GameCube controller BT Dubs has joined. He's playing on a GameCube controller, yes. I hope not, because that's Giga cursed. <laughs> I'm GameCube. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the clarification, Comedy. Um, I, I will try to call him Comedy, but I will probably slip up and call him GameCube at some point during the set. Snapback OS. <laughs> <laughs> 
Isn't there a streamer that plays VAT on GameCube controller? Is there? Oh, that's I have weird. No idea. I mean, I remember seeing a Twitter video of someone like doing a VAT combo on like a Beat Mania controller setup. I think Ken play, uh, do like VAT 4 1 or like VAT optimal combos with like his phone. Uh, <laughs> wait, Pushigo is the one who plays? Oh my god. Wild. All right. Damn. Beige ID with all of the Gordo paraphernalia on his profile. <laughs> and uh, Comedy is an Akatsuki player. I didn't know we had an Akatsuki player in this uh, bracket. Didn't either. Looks like Salty's got someone oh, to cheer for anyway. Okay. Lots of fireballs. Oh my god, that Bitatsu there after blocking Mortal Slide. Wild. Oh, Salty's not cheering for him though. Oh, okay. Last I played. Oh, Very net play, I see. Lots of fireballs. Wow. It's interesting to see Nakatsuki zoning board out. Nice shield. Oh, but doesn't get the full combo. <laughs> With 5. Oh my god, that 5A beating out the start of a B Grim Reaper was hilarious, actually. Those two. <laughs> Oh, nice. Oh, he could have converted off that. Uh, nice, yeah. Blow up that FF. Meaty 3C. Eagle D has not been able to complete it. Completely. Yeah, he's looking a little shaky. We got CS on Waker. Oh, he's punished that. How did he get a He's throwing fireballs when he gets close. He's gonna DP. Blow to Ken with the Oh, tries to get the scoop on the mortal slide follow, but he's out of range for that. Okay, there we go. There's a full combo off mortal slide starter. <laughs> yeah, it tries to do a meaty 6B. Oh, what? That is insane. Wait, was that actually on reaction? He has a uh, Grim Reaper on reaction. Tries to go with a meaty 6 6 c but uh, Comedy gonna wake up with uh, BDP. Every time oh. I can't keep DP, I lose it. Accidentally like green shield that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, Bagel loves the. Bagel loves C grab uh, mix. Oh my god, what am I going to get to play right now? Comedy boy. It's the first game. Comedy boy, boy playing as if combos don't exist in this game. I'm telling you, he's playing like Street Fighter. Yeah. Eggplant screaming in chat for Bagel to shield the fireballs, please. <laughs> I'm surprised that 2C didn't catch back dash, but I guess it was just a little too far away. Tries to charge 5C in his face. What a wild option. Damn, like literal like 2-4, mission 2-4 combos. A, uh, Bagel now shielding, but... Comedy... Wow! Portal Slide goes right through the fireball! <laughs> Let's do again, only because he Wow, just smacks him out of the air with charge, And finally the first overhead. Please punish that, nice. Spend meter? Oh, he doesn't need to. Good stuff. First round. Kept his cool, kept his combo simple and, simple and punishes the EXDP, good stuff. He mashed 2 2 c so hard he got 5C. <laughs> okay, hits him with the charge 5C overhead for full screen. Yes. Nice. Oh, but doesn't convert fully off that. Probably just do Mortal Slide, right? Nice punish on the Sitatsu. No idea what he was trying to go for. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, two. Uh, green shields the fireball by accident. Doesn't convert. And comedy. Yeah, comedy mashing during that block stream hard. Right, a tournament. 
Oh, it's Isaac. <laughs> Ugh, Isaac. <laughs> wow, round start just run up to a nice mortal slide. Doesn't convert off it though. Charge 5C in his face. Also doesn't convert off that. Okay, weirdly careful play from both players suddenly. Nice. Oh, that was the immediate dash C. Bagel's got CS, he can definitely leverage it. Nice. Good use of CS. Nice baiting the DP. I don't know if it was on purpose too, but he also crouch shielded both hits, which means that he crosses over and puts himself in the corner. So nice, that was pretty sick. Oh my god, FF beat that out just barely. You saw the fireball in front of Gordo's face. Good, good execution. Nice stuff. Just respects the possible wake up TP. Tries to wake up 2B, but then he tries to beat that out. Bagel doing a great job with that mid range stuff. Wake up 2 on 4C. Oh, I didn't cancel the FC. That concentrate must have been like a, a try at CS despite not having it. Wow, full screen VO. Super oh my god, hit. that hit! How did that connect? Bagel tried to hit something during the super flash. That was. Oh my god! That is so ridiculous. Uh, Bagel's gotta be feeling bad about that one. Oh no! <laughs> I think Bagel's got a lab out of confirm for those anti air FF hits. I Wake up Mortal Slide. Still, like, stuck in the past. This is so interesting. I've never seen an Akatsuki approach the matchup from this range. As a nice. Stoner? Yeah, well, like, just past, like, the Grim Reaper range. Oh, 6B, I'm nice. I think Bagel really needs to understand this range. He's whipping a lot of his, like, really big buttons, like, Mortal Slide. Nice. Oh, it doesn't get the There's confirm. Not confirm. Just go for the easy 2C confirm, Bagel. Oh, oh that was really weird. Oh, he shouldn't be able to kill there. Oh, no. Omni Boy takes it. 2 1. Unfortunate. I mean, Bagel had some solid play there. He just made a few, like, dash block errors that really chipped away at his health when he didn't need to take that kind of damage and caught on a little too late to Comedy Boy's kind of wild game plan. That Iowix was also extremely unfortunate. Yeah, the Iowix was bizarre. To you. So now we have Tad, Cooper, and Fidakin. <laughs> oh wow, this the internet is, is getting bigger and bigger. There's 71 viewers. Oh god. Not really? Isn't this going to be a phone on mirror? Maybe. No, no, it's 60. <laughs> you just you, had to say it, you Wooper. commentators cursed it, Wooper. <laughs> Wait, I don't know. Like my 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 stream is. No, Steam's weird. It goes. It like is a phone down. on mirror. Oh no! Did he pick random? What? I... Oh, for stage? Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> oh well, we'll see. Oh, should be like art museum. Or was it Art Museum? Uh, yeah, if it's Art Museum of Light and Water. Oh no, this stage is fine. This stage is actually just fine. Wait, okay, Round Star 63B, really tough option to contest. Wow, that JC. Lots of stray hits from uh, Fidakin. Fidakin has got Dr. Congo, right? Yeah, that's Dr. Congo. Fidakin is Dr. Congo. Yeah. Another, like, low-key, like, another mainstay in the beginner journeys. Yeah, he's, he's been, been slowly but steadily improving. He doesn't join everyone, but he joins most. Like, literally, like, yeah. Oh, fail stage. Three fourths of them. Ooh, wow, 6 2 3 B. Empty assault for 
I don't think we saw like a single full combo that entire round. Lots and lots and lots of straight hits. Uh, Fede can go in with the same round start, Tad Cooper not having an answer for it. 4B, okay. This is a bit bizarre. I get the impression that Fedekin doesn't have the advantage confirms. Which is strange for a Bonum player. I would definitely lab these out for the next time. Wow, this it's like watching like super weird Street Fighter or something. It's oh my god, that 4B connected? <laughs> FF, what on earth? That was the most unreal match. <laughs> I have no idea how to that commentate this match. Really it's really bizarre. It really is just both of them are just pressing buttons at full screen. It's so strange. Arm comments. I quit phone on. Oh, did you? The SD phone ones who dropped in clear weren't the real ones. <laughs> nah, man. Chloe's the real phone on player here. He's the phone on who started in clear and chose to go with phone on. Never even got a glimpse of SD phone on. Oh, if it's not finished the combo. So many straight heads. Oh, okay, FF overhead string. This is weird. I could have sworn Fideikin had combos. He did. Yeah. I don't think he's played in a minute, though. I think he gets most of his playtime through the tourneys. <laughs> oh, really? I see. Yeah. So that week off that we took was actually, like, horrific for him, perhaps. Chloe pressed 3C and was like, yeah, this character's broken. Yo, that's how I was like when I initially started playing ST. Phone on... Coming from Street Fighter, phone on three sequels, like, what is this bug? It's unreal. I also saw Gordo's be from Reaper, and I was like, this character is broken. Yeah. But, uh, wasn't the case. Okay, I'm too, okay, there's some pressure. Wow, oh, what a round. So fuzzy matching. <laughs> okay, synchronized fireballs. <laughs> Overhead. Oh, the overhead, nice, good stuff, and that's punishable. Did not use the estimation. There we go. The Base won't that's clear, a obviously. Just wanted to spend the bar, I guess. Wanted to show us that he does indeed have combos. Oh, run up the throw, Tad Cooper not ready it. for it. But Aiken takes it. Is 3C not broken? It goes full screen? You can just jump over it. <laughs> We're gonna run another round of losers just because we need to make sure the, the losers catches up. Yeah, so Limitless is do. right. Phone on charge JC is the actual war crime for that character. Pixel versus Bracky. Yeah, Bracky's Bracky. got his uh his Lin Gauntlet. Yeah, Bracky Bracky who called in the rat exterminator. I say despite the fact that I've been playing a lot of Lin these days. There he is, there's Pixel. Drop down, me and Whooper. Okay. Shun is a rat. Isaac, please. Don't call me by my real name on stream. <laughs> well, technically you called yourself the real name. It's fine, whatever. But Isaac just called me that by default for some reason. Mark, please. Rats, rats, you are the rat. Thank you. I guess. Alright. Limitless is cheering on Pixel here. Um, well, Pixel will play very different, differently from Water Potato. Let's see if Bracky can deal just as well. Wake up, clap. Interesting option. Runs right into 5B. This is going to be a grip of damage. Chooses to go for a corner. Yeah, a corner carry. Oh no, Bracky. Bracky chose not to enforce the fact that he's plus 2 after a block 4B. And what's more, Pixel Green blocked that, so he was actually plus 17. We are under. Nice. Scary pressure from 
Okay, so. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Cracky with some odd decisions on wake up. Wake up 4B, I'm not really sure what he wanted to do there. Oh, wow. Okay, round start, round start crazy. Round start. What's plus two for a frame eight normal? I mean, you can get your plus six. I'm just doing a lot of shielding in the corner. Oh, that's nice break. Oh, yeah, that wouldn't work anyway. It's made assault. Wow, Pixel running the train on back in the corner. Oh, Nathans are up with 6C. Yeah, the oh, easy guy. That's actually that's in the crazy okay. train. Yeah, that's why you just jump instead of trying to go for the fancy backdash stuff. Bracky doesn't get a combo. The Issei Kaiser. <laughs> that's such a good move. Name for that. That's, that's gonna kill. kill. Yeah. <laughs> Holy Holy shit, crazy train that you say Kaiser is so good. Pixel actually froze. I feel like he's However, Pixel is kind of rolling right into his buttons. Yeah. This matchup is tough for Lin just because. Wald has so many, like, normals that act as enormous walls for everywhere Lin wants to be. A wall uh, is there. Bracky had so many opportunities to hit a button to stop that approach. Oh my god! That was interesting. Micro Dash 5B beats out something. No, it's Sikuga. I wonder if Bracky knows he can just hit a button when he's doing all that rolling. Well, if he doesn't, if he watches the stream bot later, I will tell him. He definitely can. Um, oh, the game oh, does not convert. Yeah, actually, that counter hit 1A can be converted straight into a 2B link, or at the very least 2A. Oh, tries to wake up 1A. Yeah, Bracky needs to just be patient. He just needs to block right now instead of trying to jump back. Oh, oh this. Pixel is friendly. Oh, okay, none, nice. None of these That was scary at the end. I, I thought Pixel was going to take it back. Yeah, Pixel with the... Uh, he misses his meaty dash C and allows Bracky to just jump out. Rough stuff. Someone on commentary should spread misinformation on what, Mark? <laughs> Can you be more specific? Nice, gets the combo off the dash, or off 60. Oh, he tries to go for the, he tries to go for the, the, the three bounce reset. But as I've told Bracky, he didn't use up all of his bounces, so that doesn't work. Bracky, you know, he never blocks on wake up still. He always tries to 360 or jump back. Oh, stay calm. Oh, gets counter hit by the last hit. Oh, yeah, fails to tech 360B. <laughs> yes. oh, Is the rock a good starter for Walt? Yeah, you can get like 3, 3k off it. Walt <laughs> uh, FF is unironically one of the best projectiles in the game. I like this, uh, what Bracky's doing here. He's doing these neutral jumps in response to Lin trying to close distance. Yeah, see that? That's good stuff. Really yeah, neutral. Like a lot of the approach. Is that like a general thing to do against Lin, or is it just for Wall? Um, it works for Wall because Wall JC is enormous. Oh, okay. But I imagine it would work just fine for a lot of other characters. Oh, it tries to 360. That was really dangerous. He just tried to stand shield 360B. Doesn't go for the this time, but drops the ender. Uh, yeah, Bracky's doing that combo wrong. He wants to do J C J A two one four A, not J A two one four A. Wake up, CS. Ooh. Nice three C stick. You can combo too. Nice. Bracky takes it two zero. Good stuff. Bracky could have gotten a meterless combo there. You can just pick up off a of three C with dash C or dash B. But still, good stuff. Big Bracky, he powers up when he's in the losers bracket. I'm telling you. Is that the winners? Or did he... I think this is losers. Bracket. This is losers, yeah. We had to yeah. do two rounds of losers. Ooh, this Wait, is gonna be Bracky loser. All oh, right, Tom. He yeah. Tom. This is gonna be an interesting one to watch too. We've got Dylan and Otico. Okay. 
not sure how much experience Dylan has with Hogo. I yeah, know he kind of falls versus zoners time to time. I feel like there aren't many Hildas on ranked anymore. I barely see any of them. Yeah, back when I was playing rank like a few months ago, I swear like I played a lot of Hildas, like a ton of them. But nowadays there just aren't that many. Maybe it's PS4 Uni I'm thinking of, like fucking Bob's Beekeeping Emporium or whatever his name is. But I played that guy a ton. <laughs> People pointing out in chat that there aren't any Yuzus in bracket, so Dylan's there got is. it. Didi's in bracket. <laughs> yeah, Didi's got Didi's, Didi's a Yuzu. in losers with Dylan. Don't count Didi out. Fuck, says Malarkey. <laughs> <laughs> we got Otako, we're just waiting on Dylan. Uh, I have seen uh, Otako stream, and Otako does not like fighting hide. Really? Okay. So yeah. Like is there a it's particular a reason? Uh, because of hide pressure, especially in the corner. Oh, yeah. Hyde and Wagner are like two sides of the same coin. They're characters with a ton of mid-screen corner carry, and their corner pressure is really oppressive. So I, I would understand that matchup being real difficult for Hilda. Uh, one difference is the uh, Hyde has chip, while Wagner has EO. No. Otako says he's been practicing against Tides. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Well, let's see the fruits of this kind of practice. Hilda's the only honest character. <laughs> that is a fucked up opinion. <laughs> let's go Burial, says Omni. Wait, he's not up. Let's go Dylan. <laughs> Defy with degeneracy in the chat. 63B blocks it. Nice fireball. Interesting fireball, actually. On Otoko. Nice. Otoko getting hit by a raw 6B in the corner. Dylan just really? made all the right times to push buttons. Good throw. Finishes the combo. Oh, and not and blocking the on Wake Up. <laughs> and gets a really bizarre American reset into fireball there. Dylan took like that Otoko smashing Theo. Didn't have meter, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah I don't know what... Uh, Otoko's thing. You gotta, you can't just assume you got this kind of meter. You gotta make your decisions based on, you know, cognizance of what you got. Good 6B, actually. That was sick. Okay, and gets that hard knockdown from the 2 and 4 C ender. Barely any staggers in these things. Dylan just wants to enforce pressure. Ooh, yeah, mash out. I think his biggest thing is he just doesn't want to give um, Otoko that distance. Well, he's also. Recently, figuring out the Good blocks from Dylan there. Bl correctly blocks the low on that 50 50. Mashes out with 6B. This is big for Dylan. Oh. Not convert fully. That 2A must have been an attempt at baiting out uh, a VO, but unfortunately mistimes it. Oh, nice uh, tech. I haven't seen Otako really ever try and throw before. Never like dash across the screen to throw like that. <laughs> I mean, Isaac, I don't know Dylan that well, but I do know that he's quite... He likes a lab and he's principled in the way he plays, so I'd like to imagine that he's trying to do that kind of stuff. But Otako takes that first game. And they go right back into it. Two two A. Boom! Beats out. <laughs> nice, sixty. Reaction. And he's mashing on Wake Up. Fight on my 
Oh, the grid break. Oh. Why was he spamming? Was he trying to predict the overheads? Oh my god, that super low charge JC catches Dylan there. Or is that just regular JC? I wasn't watching. This is match point for <laughs> Nice dash B. Goes right through the 2C. Dylan's got corner. This is everything he wants. Oh! Wow. The match is <laughs> Dylan's plus one. Or plus two? I, I keep for, freaking forgetting what that uh, TTB is. Is that the delayed rack up? I think it's plus two, right? No, two two B. The ground explosion. Yeah. Oh, that. There's no oh, way that was a tail bringer. That was 100% supposed to be a fireball. Yeah. Oh, no, and then he goes. Yeah. Dylan immediately says, I'm sorry, Garm. Oh, that's heartbreaking. That is heartbreaking. Oh, man. So it's going to be Otako versus Bracky in Losers Top 8. Oh no, Dylan's been disowned by Garm now. He's been disowned? Uh, didn't you see that? That Garm announced that if Dylan lost in bracket, he would be disowned. I did see where he said that Dylan would win if he subbed to Garm. <laughs> <laughs> I did see that. I did see Garm calling Dylan out for not subbing. Fucking Dylan. Fucking Garm. <laughs> Okay, uh, yeah. next match is Dee Dee with Dee Dee. Boy. Let's see how Dee Dee does versus the... Flow Chartakotsky. Yeah, interestingly, <laughs> Flow Chartakotsky. Not like super crazy, but a little Flow Charty. I didn't say that, I implied it, excuse me. Oh, it's gonna you bleed said Otako had the edge because he was subbed and Dylan wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Dee Dee choose the stage and music and now it's gonna be mute. Yeah, I said that. Garm's like, yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Are we on mute? Salty says, if DD loses, I'm just owning him, like, actually. Nice v bot though, full confirm. Yes, nice, good stuff. 3.2k damage to start off the round. Nice. Wow, wake up close five. <laughs> <laughs> wow, 5C beat out C Tatsu? What is Comedy Boy doing? It's this isn't this isn't uh Oh my god. This isn't Flow Chart Akatsuki, this is literally like RNG Akatsuki. Nice meaty stuff in the meaty. He's got CS. Nice! <laughs> Why did Comedy Boy press the button there? That was such a silly option. Oh, it doesn't get the conversion off the J236A. Nice 4B, canceling out the fireball. DDO doesn't press a button during that assault. Actually, I would 2C though, yeah, wild. Oh, DD. He yeah, didn't see red mist and DP'd anyway. Okay, DD with the nav play teleports. Uh, he should have. Actually, I don't really know if he could have done anything there. He might have still been in recovery from the bot build. Nice teleport through the fireball, but then gets caught by Bitatsu while in stance. Unfortunate. Yeah. Tip range 2C and a full conversion, nice stuff. Oh, he doesn't cash out, but he has like 180 meter. He should really be spending it for extra damage. Oh my god. Oh, just fearlessly mashed. The insane fuzzy mash. Nice. Nice. Wow. Oh my god, that tip range. Yeah, Salty is a good point. DD needs to yeah, stick to layer one. Yes, good confirm. Yes, and he gets the cross up confirmed too. But doesn't get the. Okay. Okay, that was real scary. Okay. 
on me. Is my man really playing on a GameCube controller? DD is way too good for this tourney. I would say DD is definitely still a beginner player. Nice! Okay, wow, well, just round started assault JC reading the fireball, I guess. Uh, doesn't get the... the beef with the doom. Oh, oh, accidentally allows him out of the corner, but gets him with a meaty 2A. That's a lot of damage. I think we gotta also point out that the cops just like work magic up to you two. Yep. Should be able to kill here, right? Yep, that's a kill. Doesn't even need to spend meter, nice. Alright, DD on set point now. Round start. E hot. Everyone's worst matchup is easy. That's not true. Anki do assistant. DD is refusing to play this like a zoner, like Salty is saying. That's definitely true. Dude, this is DD's playstyle. He loves playing up close and personal with you. Yeah. He's played usually this way since day one. Yeah, he can zone when he needs to now. It's definitely different, but he definitely loves to do assaults and staggers. It's an interesting style. Nice! Oh, oh, holy shit! And he gets the confirm! Oh no! DD takes oh. it though. Too Comedy Boy does not walk away. Good stuff from DD. Yeah, that was a huge starter, like Mark said. Yeah, Yuzu 236C is her best starter by a long shot. Wake up close 5C, wild. Akatsuki players. Um, if you look characters like Mine and Akatsuki, like if you start out only with netplay, they kind of enable those types of playstyles. Yeah, characters like that with frame 1 parries and DPs. I mean, Comedy Boy, I would suggest that you... You gotta learn how to play a little more fundamental uni. This game doesn't, you don't go that far just doing dice roll net play stuff a lot of the time. I mean, I like the way he approached certain matchups. Like that match against Bagel was really interesting. He didn't really go with much at all. It just allowed, tried to get Bagel to come into him the whole entire time and it worked out. It's hell to learn the solid play style. <laughs> oh. Bitatsu is my neutral. That's what he says? Okay, well then he's beyond uh, beyond hope. But anyway, we got Fideikin versus Rigelon. Um, Phonon versus Merkava. Who is the neutral in this? Um, I've heard that this matchup is abysmal for Phonon. Like, it's actually like close to... like I think this is Phonon's worst matchup by a long shot. Merkava is quite... He has very good weapons. Beyond Hope Trip says, Welcome home, he says all the Kotsky mains. Limitless. <laughs> oh my god, do you see that 214 B trying to call out like a possible jump out? That was so strange. Wow, lots of, lots of, uh, just mashing buttons on offense here. It's right, go on. Look at that 2B. Wake up 2B. Oh, I guess I can play the 6C. Uh, what's so interesting? Yeah, he just. Staggers into 6C and then does 214B assume it's gonna hit? I don't even know where. Over, uh, yeah, it's definitely oppressive. That 2B is just a, such a good button for Merkava. It's like a 7 frame start of blow with 2 hits. This, and you should get the full damage grab, you Need some more turning practice, it seems. And oh. takes game one, convincingly 2 0. Yeah, Fedekin looking a little looking a little frazzled on defense there. Not really sure when he should mash out. Loser's bracket's looking pretty pretty hellish right now. <laughs> <laughs> Round star 63B, okay. It's up two on fours. Well, Arky says just mash after the gum gum gadling, but 
623A uh, is minus one on block. 226A, I don't actually know the frame data, but it's not that. I know it's not favorable from the combo. Uh, 236A is minus five on block. Yeah, so after that, you can mash. It seems that right now it doesn't really know the oh, it doesn't match up though. Gonna hit by all the fire Right, got it. I got the polarity one. I'm not sure what button Fidagin is trying to hit when, uh, like, Rygallion's kind of delaying after uh, Marco that, like, flurry. He, like, delays for a second and then goes for a low. I'm not sure what Fidagin keeps hitting there to try and mash out. Yeah, that I mean, it's minus five, and the other versions aren't much more, aren't much better. So, Fidekin can definitely mash out there. Yeah, I just think he's using the wrong button. Oh, oh, oh. oh get scrapped out of the fireball startup. Yeah. Oh, that's too easy. I don't know the Omni. Girl punish. Or the DT. Nice to grab on wake up again. Nice, you see. Oh, that doesn't convert. Wow, what a tag. And right goes on. Yeah, he takes a 2 0. That was a brutal round in the loser's, uh, the loser's bracket. Lots of 2 0s. Yeah, Fidekin seemed like he just didn't know what to do against that kind of offense. That wasn't really a matchup thing, it just seemed like more experience. I think it was also just like general uni. I think like, uh, Fidekin just didn't have proper staggers, I guess. Just like, he kept jumping over the 3C and the block screens. White Squares using CS better than anyone in brackets, as Jasper. That's right, that's true. Yeah, it, uh, Rygelon did a better job of using CS that match than he did in his one in Winner's Bracket earlier. So it's me versus Tom Clancy. The Wagner hide. Chloe commiserating with Fidekin in Discord right now. If he does have three, like three cad, I think I think he wins this. Sadly, I'm curious. I don't know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yo, thanks for that. Thanks for the the vote of confidence. Okay. I, I go ten four versus Tom, and I think I go like ten two versus you. Defy says, "Damn, get him, Imperialist." <laughs> I guess I'm dead. I mean, Uber's got to drop down for this one. Oh, go pseudo copy pasta in chat for uh, Mystic. Salty is like, screaming, fuck Empirist. If Tom does not have Blue Cat, though, I think if. Impairs just assaults on like throw situations. I think he'll just die. Yeah, but the thing is, I don't really know if Impairs does that much. Yeah, he does. He doesn't really. Impairs hasn't really internalized playing the OS game that much. Yeah, he's recently like working on a lot of the staggers, but yeah. he still hasn't really gotten any like. Yeah. Tom not checking out that combo. Also, can we talk about how he like uses this ugly ass pumpkin slice latte hide color? Like, oh, back dash is awesome. Oh, uh, yeah, he always uses that color. So ugly. Never a question. 
eating that four, plus four. Loves that plus four. Smash a Dio and smash a Dio in return. You play Enkidu, you have no taste? Excuse me, Falcon Man? Enkidu is the most tasteful. Says the Carmine, says Defy, yeah, exactly. Please go into IW! Not 2 to c <laughs> Oh. 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 Okay, hi, uh, Tom currently zoning out with two twos. Jumps over him and catches him with something. Are we <laughs> that almost looked like a tea bag, even though it was clearly just him pumping for two two. Oh man, he's gonna take it. Kyrus was smashing 60. <laughs> hey, dude, I'm gonna spit roast you. Oh, nice staggers. Oh my god, those staggers are scary as hell. And Imperius falling for them. No, oh, failing to BDP. He didn't, oh, he didn't even try. <laughs> Nice! And, uh, yeah, wait up. up Dio's not very good. It's not a great option. It's like a... Oh no! <laughs> what on earth? Oh, what on earth? Tom! Tom going for like an extremely preemptive VO uh, OS or something there. I have no idea what he wanted to get there. It's pretty bizarre, but unfortunately... Uh, Imperius does not do the 6-6-C six, six, link after the B or A grill. Yeah, Tom throwing away the, the double perfect. He's like, you know what? I don't need this. Take this VO. <laughs> oh my god. Four jumps out of the corner. Good stuff. Yeah, punishing him for just jumping out. Uh, mid screen Pogo. Tom loves Pogo. Oh, wow. Five Bs. That Five B? Oh, here. On like the last possible frame. You saw like the rest of the part. <laughs> yeah. Oh, another combo. No, he doesn't shield the 6C though. He saw it coming, definitely. Uh, down oh. for kick throw. That happens. that happens every so often when I play against Tom, where I'll just get hit by the 2A and it'll become a gold throw, and he'll be like, wait a second, you weren't supposed to get hit by that. <laughs> Oh, Tom with just such solid play. Oh, mix up. American I hit them with the 2A, and then I get mashed on. <laughs> okay, plus 9, hold it. Oh, gets it on the overhead. Returning matches. <laughs> uh, whiff throw is not plus enough. Use meter to make Ben Sinister safe. I'm not coming from Okay, that was interesting. VO there. Just didn't want to deal with whatever gap was going to happen after that 2-3-6-8 uh, follow up. Oh, Tom's just not hitting the last Rekka there. Oh, great break up, that, that's it. Damn. People throwing out the Gosuda copy pasta like mad in response to Tom winning. I guess to those of you who are not in the know, Tom is the rechristened Mystic Suburban from like literally like a month and a half ago in the beginner tournament. You may remember him for classic hits such as Random Full Screen Pale Bringer. Imperius still muted. I reckon he's currently he's doing the lost soul thing where he's like shouting at the camera while muted. That would be. I wish I could see that. <laughs> I've never understood why why lost soul does that. You watch that footage, right? In like GG, when he gets up on like tournament camera, he starts like he starts like just shouting at the camera. Yeah. yeah. Hey. Imperius, how's it going? I'm, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. He's so salty, holy shit. <laughs> oh, man.
damn, I mean, Tom's a super solid player, and those staggers were like tailored to beat people of your playstyle, Imperialist. No, I mean, if I'm honest, I was just like outplayed. Like, it's yeah. not, I, I can't be like, oh, net players, like, man, I can mention it. Like, I was just outplayed from start to finish. Comes to you. So, like, my salt is more. It's not directed at the match, it's directed at myself, if that makes That's, sense. That is true salt. True salt is when you are frustrated with yourself. And now they're giving me squats to add injury to the insult? <laughs> <laughs> That's so good, oh my god. Alright, everyone give Vampiris some consolation squats. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll pitch in. Where's Roxy? <laughs> Look at this squad. Exercise through the pain. Yeah, let the salt fuel your your quads, <laughs> man. <laughs> oh my god, look at all of these. Oh my god. So many spots. Why the fuck is Defy saying CPT? Imp suffering from success. Yo, Imperius is going to have the biggest fucking legs of all time after this. I'm be able to fit into my jeans. <laughs> You're gonna have to go a size up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Defy is actually just dumping all of his stream, his viewer points. Defy normally saves them for like weird challenges, so he can be like, hey, you know, I've never really played Blaze Blue before. I only have a couple games. Let's play BBCF. Oh my god, look at all these spots. Impurest salt. Thanks, Salty. <laughs> I, I, I'm pretty sure we've hit a thousand at this point. Roxy's Seth is crazy. Yeah, my Seth could never compete like with a Seth like, like that. Oh my god. All right, but Barrel Agency versus Roxy. We haven't seen Roxy in a minute in this tournament. Wow, some interesting. <laughs> wow, he did that on reaction. There's no way. Wow, nice backdash out of that two and four. Unfortunately, he doesn't punish the land recovery of that JB. That JC. Uh, for the next test, I mean, I okay. So, I think he does understand. Yeah, I mean, I've got my own comments about Roxy's, like, play style. I think Roxy is a little too hesitant on defense, but he's getting better about that. Um, he has this tendency to favor B buttons um, when mashing out, and so he gets whiff punished a lot. I'll stop the repeat. One thing I noticed Burial did was when he was in the corner, he just used a quick 2A to get rid of the orb. Mm -hmm. oh, with, uh... oh, that in that increased landing recovery of A-Dive really, uh... Burial could have made him pay. Delay 2C. This is a huge, great part of Stagger window is invisible, but it is safe at long tactics. Okay, Rock still needs one more touch to win this. Barrel keeping calm. Oh, but tries to hit something after that CS. Roxy should kill here. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, you only needed one more touch. Roxy execution coming in clutch. That was three combos that entire game. Or that entire round. Damn. Okay, Roxy with a really convincing first game versus Barrel Agency. Barrel Agency is gonna have to gonna have to step it up. I mean, one thing that a lot of people don't know is that during Seth Blink pressure, you can literally just run out. Mm -hmm. You can just dash forward out of Blink pressure. <laughs> oh, okay, I mean, I do that sometimes when I autopilot trying to prefer, and that just happens. Optimal Ender. Nice. I prefer to pick throw, but. Oh. Oh, oh no, Rock no. He's overhead. Succeed. I don't really use 60 that much because he doesn't have experience. 
Oh, Jazz is saying that's not right. What's not? The false info. I'm assuming about just running out of uh, Blink Punch. Oh, oh the grid break. Yo, danger time. Oh, but I reversed. Can you not just dash block out of. Uh... Oh, my God. Good block on the overhead. Oh, oh Cash is out. Should be able to take a buff here. This sounds like half of that. Oh, okay. Oh. Nice tech. Oh, oh B grab. Nice. Yeah, you can't really do that. That 5A reached so far. Holy shit. Oh, oh, the drop. No! Yeah, oh, burial. Bouch is it out. One, one. Two. Bit of a choke on Roxy's part. Burial brings it to one, one. Def Defy is in shambles. Oh, <laughs> 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 Oh, just, oh. oh no, it, it locked up. On a really happens. funny frame for me. Yeah, on a really <laughs> weird frame. <laughs> That's definitely going to be the thumbnail. Oh, blocks the assault. No, JC. Yeah, JC. They're playing along like nothing happened, so I don't think it lagged for them. Yeah, Roxy. Yeah, it's kind of hard by the other <laughs> Burial Agency is being very proactive in getting rid of those warps. Yep, he's doing a great job making sure that Roxy doesn't get the set those for free. I would love to see Burial, uh, like, notice that Roxy is, like, hacking out of these throws. Like, wait. Oh, but doesn't convert fully. Uh, go and scout OSs, but I'm not sure if he does that. Like. That 2A pickup after the DP is wild. Oh, nice TRM. Oh, oh that's that such a good start for Yeah, okay. He's on set point now. Oh, tries to call out the same that option. Uh, the classic set mix. Wagner 3C is not high. What is happening right now? Roxy going all out on dives. Oh no, Gargly high one frame. That's so unfortunate. He's playing Eunice as the die. Oh, he actually stood up but didn't block. Oh, it takes a reward. Got that in my bones, Roxy. Oh god, no. That should be it. He killed your whole turn. Roxy would just be very, very... And this is set point. Reactions. Yeah. Nice. Okay, it catches him with that FF kick. I actually have no idea how good of a starter this is. Decent, I guess. Counter head BDP. Oh, but doesn't... Oh, no combo. But does not block the overhead. C grab, okay, yeah, beat out throw option, I guess. No, 2A. Uh, he messed up the uh, dash C. Can you even do that route, though? Oh, um, what? I was trying. This can kill. This will kill. Yeah, wow. Uh, Burial Agency takes it 2-1, sending Roxy into one of the most shark-infested losers brackets that I feel like we've seen in a while. <laughs> I was looking at it and I'm like, crap. Yeah, I think the last thing Roxy wants to do is go up potentially against like Bracky. Well, I have to play the winner of Bracky versus Otiko. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of Bracky versus Otiko, that's who we have up next. <laughs> this is gonna be tough for Bracky. I don't know if he has much Hilda experience, but this is like without yeah. question Wald's worst matchup. This is yeah. Oh, that? Like Wald versus that? Sorry? No, 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 no. You can FF actually apparently works wonders in the VAT matchup for Wald. 
but the Hilda one for Wald is actually just like filled with despair. Like there's nothing you can do against a lot of Hilda stuff. I guess since uh, Hilda's weapons aren't projectiles. Super drop. Yeah. But I'll I'll be right back. You guys carry commentary in the meantime. Okay. I assume Odoko is okay with the wall matchup and does. I'm assuming, well. yeah. I, I feel like it's it's substantially in Hilda's favor. Uh, who has not locked any? I assume Bracky. I assume. Have a color. As well, yeah. <laughs> I think there we go. Yeah, I think they both thought they had a. Uh, Okay, what is the round start here? Yeah. I don't know, does Wald even have anything fast enough to, to beat out? Wald has to <laughs> cool beat out. I'm not sure how, like, how does round start and how they react. Yeah. 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 Oh, but he didn't even go for that. Okay. Um, Rafi got the first, well, like, the first real attack. And Oracle's dancing and walking until the end. I will say at least Walt seems to have like the uh, the oh, 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 crazy, oh, crazy train just threw oh, all of that. Oh. I think we're gonna see a VO in a second. Oh, there no, Bracky. He's so as close. As he's just gotta be patient. I'm back. Nice oh. one, A. Bracky doesn't yeah. Yeah. Crazy train? Just, oh, yeah. After Gloom. He's using crazy train to just negate all of those projectiles. Is it projectile uh, in Vuln? Only C version. Yeah, only the C crazy train is projectile involved. The EX Isekaiser. <laughs> Actually, the 2cc is a mid and then a low, so it's only the second hit you need to worry about. Yeah. Oh, oh gets caught. Oh, okay. He keeps trying to jump. But that is... Oh, oh Taco. Man. Oh, Otoko cannot, for the life of him, jump crazy. Oh, bro. Wow. It's too ski at that range. Nice block on those. Good stuff. Oh, preemptively jumped. She knew it was coming. Sorry? Does Hilda 660 what? 660 uh, Walt. No, um, it's. It, it's like one frame faster, Walt 66B. But it's still a read to do 66B on Wake Up, uh, on Round Scar versus Hilda. Wow. Oh, Bracky. All set up to take the first game. No, he does the side switch ender. I don't really know if that's what you want. Oh, just be patient, Bracky. You've got to hang back and just not try and force his way in and just kind of like force Hilda to make something happen. Mm. That oh, damn is, is this gonna kill? No, it's not gonna kill. Oh wait, my yeah. Oh wow, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, that's rough. He tried to jump a couple Yo. of times in pressure there instead of just like blocking. Trip wrong as always. No, it's okay. I corrected myself just before I killed. Oh, Bracky, I don't know if changing character is. Is the right move. He did it well with Wald. Unless he just wants Maybe to he's going for Wald. Well, he had like a Landrekia. Yes. But... Yeah, I think Mikey just needs to take some time to think a bit. His Wald is good. Yeah. He doesn't have the long combos from what I've seen. And Lon needs three optimal combos to deal a lot of damage. So the thing about Lond is that Lond's worst mid, uh, matchups 
are the same as Wald's worst matchups. Oh, so there's okay. no point in doing the character change. <laughs> Just trying to compose itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's. What does the run start? Kribo, and... oh my god, run to the sleep. What a call out. I can't believe he thought that Hilda would actually walk forward into that, and he, she did. Okay, yeah. Uh, but there he is. Cracky showing some patience. The, uh, I mean, 3C isn't a grab, but. Just all of his, all of his hits kind of look like grass. Yeah. Oh no, he tried to do something there. And then he got caught by the gloom. Bracky playing patient. Yeah. Yeah. He's literally he's waiting to skip neutral with the crazy train. Yeah, he has crazy trains right through the pin. Yeah. Bracky's thinking. I like his approach. He gets a life lead and then he hangs back and he forces Hilda to like. Uh, I don't, I don't, I personally don't like it because he hasn't really been able to block the pins. So like anything that Odoku Yeah, but when he commits to blocking like right now, he actually does okay. It's when he tries to take actions from like full screen and dash in that he's been getting hit. Well, things are rough for Brack, you know, he has less than 15 seconds to make things something happen. Yeah, well now he's got it even. Yeah. Five seconds left. This is looking yeah. unwinnable. Uh, oh, yeah. oh no! Actually, if he had tapped there, that would have. Oh, Another run. Oh, it's going up. Put over that. Oh, nice okay. Oh, okay. And he, I think. Nice stuff. Right for the Oh, oh. I think he wanted a 360 there instead. He actually did get the, the reset set up correct. Oh, he keeps jump. trying to jump to get away from Hilda. And yeah, it doesn't work. Hilda doesn't really need to do anything right now. I mean, Raki should be shielding everything at this range, just cross shielding everything. Hilda doesn't have long range overheads, at least not at this full screen range. I mean, but he doesn't have <laughs> And uh, Bracky won grid at the last moment there because of that crazy train. Oh, oh, punish Bracky, punish! Oh, oh that was the same. Oh. No, it isn't. Oh. Uh, Bracky, uh, that's a full screen. The block takes it 2 0. He tried to punish, he just picked the wrong button. Yeah, no, it's it's tough, Bracky. I would, um... I think the next step for Bracky's learning process is learning to really capitalize on his plus frames. Like, knowing the gaps that he has. Because Walt can be up to plus 7 with charge B-clap and stuff, wow. but that doesn't really mean that much when, like, your fastest button is, a six, is an 8-framer. So you gotta really know what buttons beat what uh, speed, like, mash-outs. Every time the Hilda is mashing out with something like 2C, you know you screwed up. You gotta... You gotta kinda internalize what you can do after every option. And I also agree with Wooper in that the way Bracky handled that neutral, while, while it may have worked against Odako, because Odako just wasn't familiar enough with the matchup to jump Crazy Train, the better thing to do is shield of the stuff that Hilda is doing, get CS, and use that to win your way in. And learning to do that earlier on rather than later is going to pay lots of dividends in the future. Yuzu versus Murtala. It's only interesting. And it's going to be mute again. Ah, <laughs> DD. <laughs> To let this man choose the stage. The match was cursed to begin with, yeah. 
But Bracky, this is as a grappler player, that's a matchup that you just have to learn. Any fighting game you play, it's always the worst. But it's part of the grappler struggle. GD landing the counter hit uh, G Bato into full confirm. Starting another game off with a clean two punch. Smashing out with 2B. Uh, teleport's like damn nice. The, um, honestly, you have to hold that 4 to one Uh, after Bato, that teleport is plus one, so it's not a net play gimmick, you just have to hold it. Weird combo. It seems that uh, I don't want to go on the throw, like, warm up beat, which is a huge part of how this game plans. Yeah, I don't think I've seen him uh, end with EX children even once. I get the impression that Rygellan is somehow better at pressure than he is at a combos, and that's kind of rare for a beginner. Nice teleport, good stuff from DD, and correctly delays the B flip for that. What's wrong with saying EX children, Worm? That's what it is. Ooh, okay, he jumps over the two. Oh, whoopsies. Oh. Don't like what Didi does. He teleports right in front of him without even doing anything. Yeah, Didi plays permanently on layer 2, which is kind of weird. But what he did do is he correctly punished the 236A minus 5, and so hitting with the uh, 2C, kind of an okay outcome, I guess. 7 kind of death. Punching through anything, that's a horrible cycle. Let's see if he does anything with it. Nope. Nope. With DD, nope. Oh, a nice stagger into 2B. I mean, I think a lot of like, what's good about Portal with Kava is that the Portal trade, the fact that, like, Lord, you don't get the kill when you block is insane. I don't really know if that's that important. I mean, obviously it's good, but. I mean, of I mean, course, not. How many times are you, like, counting on being on the defensive after you set up worms? Like, I don't really know if that's, like, a thing that worms really count on. Oh, uh, I guess that's true, yeah. Uh, Yoki. Yeah, yeah, Loki, Loki, Loki save count, that's true. Cool. You don't want to fight Mirth, Otago? Oh, you're already writing me out. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, well, did you take that first game? Four C through three C. Wow, the second hit of two C hits there. Yeah, uses the two C. Uses two C. One of the weird ones where both hits are well. Nice count. Is that actually a combo off that trade? There's no way that two C is too slow. Oh, oh drop to the bottom. But his combos are a bit. Oh no, teleport's right in front of him. Uh, I don't know, I don't think either of these characters have... I actually have no idea how this matchup goes, like, I'll be honest. <laughs> oh my god, that teleport! That may have been a true whip punish on 5C. And Didi clutches that out with a good combo. Didi on set point. In the 50 50? It oh. might be. Both of these Both of these characters do very well in certain spaces. Oh, I think Didi was trying to do a 2B there. I saw the startup for it. Nice play. Yeah, and a correction! Oh, that's nice. so good. Combo. Oh, but no. no. Luckily, not punished for it. Yeah, I think that teleport may swing things uh, in DD's favor for this matchup. Merkaba's long range offers are very high committal. Why is DD just sitting on a meter? Instead of spending it. 
Yeah, I think DD definitely needs to spend meter there. Oh, <laughs> DD makes it. Wake up, 236C, why? <laughs> he's a madman, he wakes up 4B and he says mashes as a music player. <laughs> a new second event comes to you. Oh, Untold Melody in chat dropping the Hilda matchup, uh, Hilda matchup knowledge. Okay, well, DD dropping, um, Raul Rigelon. I keep, that, that name is hard. Yeah. We gotta run another round of the losers. Oh, is it you versus Odo? Yeah, and then Roxy DD. You got this. Faded says, sorry, but DD is definitely winning it. How does Roxy and Tom do versus DD? I don't know. Um Yeah, I'm not sure, actually. I don't know if I've ever seen the two of them play, or do those sets of people play. Faded says Roxy has always lost against DD. DD's got like a kind of raw instinct for the game. It's kind of interesting to watch. And you know, after that first match, he's actually been meeting really well after stance pressure, so I'm very proud. Good stuff. Only he does a mash on like Yeah. It's mute again! <clears throat> Did Imperius keep it on mute? Yes. Nice, good stuff. Proud of you, Imperius. I'm like 100% to blame for all the mutes <laughs> in these tournaments. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Oh, you can call by the pin overhead. What a run forward. Damn, that walking 5A range is insane. It is probably the best 5A. Oh, oh, uh, oh my god, he CS saw the red mist and chose to 5D? Oh my god. Oh, he's returning back to the... Yeah, back to 6C Imperius. Oh, yeah. It's gonna take longer for him to learn Actually, now that I think about it, that, C that uh, CS5B was actually OD. Because that animation was most likely 5A, which is like an A-brain button. I don't actually know how that beat that out. First not blocking on wake up against blue monkey. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. That sucked. I know that they're not blocking low against Wagner. Imperia is also just not staggering against uh yeah. the wrong pressure. 6C! That's nice! Yeah. Overheads are nice! Okay. Oh Surprised that Charge FF didn't uh, block the VO hit, I guess it was a little too late, or too early. Oh, it doesn't kill. No! I thought that was raw Iowa. It doesn't kill. Alright, well this definitely isn't going to kill him. I wonder if it's going to be grid broken on wake up against Wagner here. That's not great. Oh yeah, right. And get four But does not kill! Oh uh, no, what was Imperius doing there? That was a robbery. I mean, when you're playing against Otaku, you have to know that he's gonna mash an Iwex like on the, on the last possible wake up. I usually just block it accidentally. Like, mess up the ender and then mine up because it's the same time I want to be Nice run. That was a great two. Yeah, I mean, that was a great. Run forward through the 2C, that 2C has a dead zone. 
not blocking low. Yeah, he keeps catching him with that 2C. <laughs> not blocking high either. Oh my god. 2C, Ender. Oh Sorry, my god. Ember is in a frothing mate, a rage, so angry. We oh. got raw, so. He keeps trying to do these high committal dashes. And Brago drills and just perfect. Same last. And has to. Oh, oh, oh. oh the Kyrus special. Oh, now he's a Yeah. Finally blocks the two. What is the Kyrus gonna do now? Now that he can't open up before. <laughs> <laughs> the uh usually I'm the one who's very like cynical of overheads and uni, but it Wooper is fulfilling that role for me today for commentary, it looks like. Oh, oh my god, god, what on earth was that? Oh, he tries to J2 360 oh and gets bonked out of the air with the pin and that's gonna kill! Is that gonna kill? Holy shit! No! no. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, it's the fight a second. Yeah, the low. Uh, sadly gets 2 -0. If this was ST, that would've killed. Wild. Uh -oh. Well, that was, uh, yeah, I'm here. Sorry? You cut out uh, for me. Oh, I was gonna ask if the room breaks. It, it took a while to load. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. Yeah, Empiris got a little too impatient there. Again, he, was like, he was really betting it on like these long dash ups that worked a few times in the set. But against Hilda, you really do just have to kind of make up ground slowly with dash blocking. I think he also relied too much on opening when to go up. When you can, once you put her in blocks, then kind of just like, you know, lock her out of just doing anything. It's like, I guess jail her is the right like, term. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if jail is the right term because jail is used to describe gapless strings, but uh... They just like stagger her to death without like yeah. not putting to like grabs or anything. So there were you... like several times in the set where uh, Odako mashed out with 5A and the moment you let the Hilda do that, you know, you, you know, your stagger pressure went wrong somewhere. <laughs> yeah. And that's the thing. Imperius was, I think he was, you know, in like kind of like a frantic mode where he was just pressing buttons on offense. Yeah. I mean, you can see that with the six C's. But yeah. really he has been working pilot. on uh, staggers on the stream and I, I fought against him. And when he's calm, he can do that. It's just, I think in these high pressure scenario, scenarios, he goes back into like his old habits. Yeah, and that's a playtime thing. You just gotta override the old muscle memory with the new. Yeah. And especially since he's played Genshin for too long. <laughs> <laughs> he's been diluting his uh, his playtime recently. I'm sorry, I'm curious. I don't need to flame you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's so good. So, Empiris, any thoughts? Well. <laughs> He's unmuted on Discord, but he's not saying anything. Too soon, says the Mitless. Okay, well, to change tack here, we got DD versus Roxy. Roxy really carefully thinking over his color choice, I guess. Is this gonna be me with like, what, what is it, four times? Three times in a row? Sorry, what? This is going to be another mute game. <laughs> yeah, perfect. I'm in shambles. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with mute.
Alright. Both up back, uh, round start. Nice. Good break. Yeah. DD doesn't have any OS other than 1 AD lockdown, so that's a good option against him. I'm just always afraid to, like, assault him to, like, keep magic for me. Uh, yeah, I guess. What you have to do is... I don't know. I don't know. If you you just gotta get him into the make him think it's a throw coming. Plus four is beaten up by Lowe's, so oh man. Oh, another great break from the other side now. Oh man, these five A's. Oh that was... right in front of him. Yeah, I wonder if that was one of those TF. So, I mean, I... Again, my, like, user experience isn't that great, but 5C is the god in this match, as far as I know. Shuts down a lot of Seth's stuff. Also, will like... And the thing about Yuzu is that, like like you just saw, she deletes orbs by essentially collateral with Bato, so... Oh my god, what a tech on that. <laughs> 4C is through the B-dive. Oh, it doesn't get... DD's got a little bit of up. Yeah, you can. It's her best starter. Alright, I've seen... It's insane, like, yeah. Like, each K of, like, yeah. You can do whip, like, yeah, VO state 2 to 6 c you can do insane damage. But even, like, regardless, like, without VO, you can do, like, 4K easy with that. Just lets that dash be hot, yeah. Oh, it doesn't hold stance after that 2-3-6-B. Nice tech, wow. And then around, bro, and DD's gonna take that round. Garm, I'm sorry, raise your flag is cringe. I just clicked the first song. <laughs> is that what's playing? Mute. Yeah, I'm picking mute, so I gotta pick songs. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's, yes, Limitless, Imperius is back. He's not the kind to let the salt over take him for too long. A true professional. Didi going with that almost 4k combo right off the bat. Watching self Seth's health bar melt. Oh my god. Such back and forth pressure here. Oh, he could have at least taken his turn back with a uh, 6c. I got to root for Roxy, actually. Because you don't want to... Wait, what? Why? No, because Jazz and Horisa. Ulterior motives here in the Imperious Club uh, Twitch stream. I like the fun yeah, everyone's gotten a lot better. Oh my god, that 4B! Oh, 4B. This is a 3.4k combo. This can kill. No, what is he doing? Why is he? I think maybe he tried to CBO to continue the combo. I think he tried to CBO, but that was such a bad part to do that. He didn't have CS, so why'd he do that? Damn, one touch away. Oh no, oh wait. DD, are you gonna throw it all away, Conley? Oh, the throw! Oh, the throw! What a fucked up scramble. Holy shit, DD. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god, DD making things real thrilling for our spectators here. But he's up one game. Okay, Roxy. Oh, it doesn't get the play. Oh. I don't hit 5 C's. Oh, oh Roxy just not good. Yeah. But Roxy and be dumb, bro. Real strong. Damn, okay. God damn. And bring back. Oh, nice anti-air 2 but doesn't convert off of it. Oh. Did it freeze anyone else? 
No, which means that I'm gonna have to do delayed commentary again on a die. Sound barrier. What, what's the time off for you? 87. Oh my god, seven seconds delayed commentary. I don't know if I can do that. I think 5B into 2C into. Oh god, I can't keep my mental stack. <laughs> How about this? DD's got uh, Roxy in the corner. Assault JC? Yeah. Right now? Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, I can't do it. I'm just gonna have to shut up. It's too hard. Roxy, <laughs> combo, and the side switch. He's got the corner again. And then CS 4B? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> DD kind of just ignores the orbs, and if he happens to hit them with a button, he happens to hit them. I mean, this is part of what I was thinking. For the use of Stephen, I think. Yuzu's buttons are so big that they just delete Seth Orbs just as, like, as a bonus. Roxy with the throw. Into his left pranks. Nice touch. Dini's with the throw. Damn, okay. Roxy takes it. Okay, cool. 1-1. One, one. It's 1-1 one, one now. I think we should be synced back up. <laughs> It's always so weird. I can't believe why I keep having to do that. <laughs> oh, get squid broken! What on earth was Roxy trying to do with the jump back air shield? No, those bottles are not air unblockable. Oh, nice assault. They're, they're not air shieldable. Yeah, actually, oh, so the so so 36A is definitely air on block. Hello, Tiger. Yeah, they're air on block. Damn. Roxy looking very, very strong in this round. Oh! Right as yeah. that he drops. One of the super um, bold things I use is that 236B is air unblockable, which is wild. DD's got a sliver of a, a sliver of hope here. Yeah, I mean one more touch and it's in this game. Oh, nice. good stuff. Yeah, if I know anything for Roxy, it's just that he likes to just hold down back on defense, so he's willing to play cool that entire time. He doesn't really shield that many. I mean, against a Yuzu player like DD, at that range, it's kind of not worth shielding just because he likes to do these kinds of mix uh, so much. Wow. I feel like because of that, you can force a jump. Or maybe I just play DD so much. Nice! Snipe out. J226C, yeah, he could've convert off that, but doesn't. Oh, oh no. He needs to kill here. He spends meter. He's been sitting on his meter. He doesn't need meter. Oh, he but he doesn't do the end. And Roxy just fearlessly matches. But still dies too much. <laughs> Jumps right into the round star 2 to 6 seed. But they'll uh, convert. We'll confirm, yep, into 2.9k, I think. Oh, more than that. There we go. Meter, yeah. Finally jumping some meter in a combo. This is not looking good for Roxy. Nice I like DJ very nice. a lot. Oh, nice. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> jump, throw. No fuzzy matches here. It's a fun nice. ball. No conversion into... I'm smashing Bio. Oh, Red bro. Right as... He misjudges the distance just a smidge. Yeah, uh, um... What do you mean? Oh, I just can't kill here. He doesn't have meter. Live in chat asking, what do you mean by head property? Um, certain moves are classified as having head property, which means that, yeah. Air moves have head property, a lot of anteriors have head involved. This just means that the characters are completely invulnerable to moves with head property. Oh, Roxy. oh no! Oh, oh my god, so many little taps, but he's just... 
Oh my god! Oh, Here, DP! Roxy broke it. the curse! Oh god! <laughs> that J623C was so good! Holy shit! Yo, oh my god. Someone clipped that because that was yeah. legendary. That was incredible. I believe, was it like Roxy's first like tournament? He used a lot of like that <laughs> air DPs. He, like... Yeah, he loves air DPs. <laughs> That's the Roxy Classic, fucking round start J623C. But like, oh my god, that was like such a good a use of that. Comes to you. Damn, he's gotta play um, Otako next. We'll give him a quick break though. And we'll do the uh, Warner Warner finals. finals. Yeah. Okay. Now this will be best 3 of 5, right? Yeah, let me change the ring settings. Real Tom Clancy and Burial Agency. I wonder. I mean, my guess is Tom takes this. But Burial Agency's gotten, I think, better since the last time I've seen him play. I feel like he's been getting better the more games he's played, too, in the tournament. Yeah. Salty with the clip. Yes, you are a Burial Agency. Oh, Shaylee also with another clip and you with a Shaylee, superior title. Shaylee was uh, <laughs> clipping that, that second title. Happen. The Roxy Yuzu players are virgins. Hold on. This is how a real Chad uses CS special. A new sacrifice comes to you. Okay. Very this late. Is high yep. I think the first few games could depend on how well Tom Log succeed. Yeah, Barrel Agency has been a little overhead happy this tournament. I actually, so Water 6C is special cancelable and it still is on shield, right? Uh, I believe so. Yeah. I believe you can go into FF and make it safe. But oh, there's a gap. There's probably a gap between DP, but I have not laughed at it. Oh, Tom oh, loves dangerous shield. I love the way Tom plays. So defensive. Oh, okay, and then to just a BDP. Never mind. <laughs> Wake up with 2A. Oh, combo. Oh, right. oh, that would be combos. Oh, and then another BDP. Wake up. Oh, I don't like using 5 Oh my god, Tom just actually. Empty as all day. fuzzy mash. Oh my god. What is that? That must have been a mistake. There's no way you wanted Pogo there. Oh my god. Pumpkin Spice Hide is spooky, and says Limit. All his meter from the uh, That's not too big of a deal. You, you get meter so fast in this game. Okay. Another. Okay. PDP's right back at him. Oh! That was a TRM. That was interesting. Wow. Added 30 bucks to the pot for a 50. Oh. Wow. Oh, it doesn't have a... Oh, it doesn't block its tech in your head. Yeah, Burial does that a lot. I mean, I think it's okay, like, after this... Oh, oh, what was that? You that probably insane. wanted to be no. I can't. The thing about like uh, force function after six uh, C is that Wagner can release it at any time, so it's extremely scary to like mash on it. That's not true. There's a there's a partial charge, and then there's a certain number of frames where you have to commit to the charge. 
I mean, so oh, there is a fuzzy timing involved. Yeah. yeah, Limitless calling me out here, saying I love how. I mean, I Tom was playing so defensively at the beginning, and now he he was got a little too rago there. A nice fire. Yeah, that I wax must have been the OS. I've been he keeps accidentally I wax. So can't kill here. Oh, that was the wrong time to CS there. That was the end of the string for sure. God, why did so much more right asking why it looks chalky. <laughs> Wake up, man. Wait, is it chalky while. for you guys? It looks fine to me. Is the string chalky? Okay, good break, Sixy. I was busy, bros. Is Roxy still in Jazz? Did you miss one of the most hype Check moments? The clips, Jazz. Check the clips. Yeah. Uh, okay, oh, okay, Barrow's <laughs> Cool. <laughs> That's super stubby 2A. Oh no. Not even a shield though. Or more. Oh. Oh. Nice J2C. Another J2C. This one is still here. Yeah, he does that exact same pattern every time. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, that one did not look great. Maybe one of them tabbed out for a second. Yeah. Roxy won. Yeah, Roxy won in a really, really hype fashion. Okay, well, Tom seems to have gotten the rhythm down for agent, uh, burial agency's pressure. I don't know why I just called them agency. Oh, almost loses the Vorpal side. Try to take Oh, nice, I go BB. Nice yeah, I got 6B. Oh, those were just the easy combo. Oh, WGDP. Oh, that was sick! Oh, it's like we're watching Street Fighter 5. <laughs> oh, not no. Oh, well, I'm not gonna take him clear across the screen. Oh, misses oh, the VO chip no. over PDP. Loses because of it. Yeah, and Tom on set point now. Not set point, it's best of three. Oh, right, 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 you're right. I'm getting a little too excited. Wow, he caught backdash with that fireball. But it feels like Tom's gotten like a really good read on Burial. Yeah, he's got the ice. he's got the bead on Burial's pressure. Nice BDP though out of FCS. Tom wants the fucking ironclad defense here. He's not biting at all, just waiting for cycle. Just low, there's not really yeah. any like, variance in it. Let's not convert off of the yeah. That's pretty sick, not gonna lie. Takes him all the way to the corner and just riding that wave. Nice grab. Gonna get like. Yeah, 18 minute damage off that, not bad. Oh, oh the corner steal! In the corner, but that's that not really much of a mix line. up. No, because you have until like he lands all the way. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, um, because cross can work there. Tom's shielding, but shielding at the wrong points to win cycle and barrel agents. He's gonna have some warp here. Oh, you got it, Tech. Yeah, it's so weird. Really, Tom. Yeah. Assaulting a bit too much. Oh, you know, I do say, like, you should have solved for Oh, I think he was trying to bait the DP and died for it. Oh, no. And now, yeah. Oh, that's a 
Oh, no way. That was supposed to be a 2 3 6. There's no way that was supposed to be a DP. Oh, man. Barrel Agency is trying to do something against these assaults. It just keeps getting called out by J2C. Oh, Rago BDP. Uh, maybe uh, five uh, we just knew Burial Agency was going to try and jump us all out. No! Tom, you got CS! Let's see if he hits the strip. He gets it. God, literally from corner to corner. I play oh. this character and I still think it's nice. That's a lot of damage here. Uh, he could have done CDP at 2. I don't believe it. Get enough meter. And Tom not blocking on wake up. I guess he's lost. Yeah, Tom sometimes just doesn't block. Burial up 2 1. I mean, sometimes I do that. Like, oh, he's going to respect my wake up because I DP twice. But no. Okay, well. Burial's up 2 1. Yeah. Yeah, it's first to three. Yes. I don't know, I feel like Tom's playing super solid, and I feel like the reason he's losing is because he plays a little too crazy sometimes. That is a weird round. <laughs> oh, what, was that? what was that stand shield? He stands types of it too much, like I said. Oh no, it gets caught by the charge FF. That wasn't even charged up. Oh no, that was. Ooh. Oh god! Dude, Dude, break caught with the wow. 6C that like, was just oh. supposed to be part of the combo. Signs of life from Tom. Good dash box. Nice. Oh, oh, but you can't convert off that without CS or Peter. <laughs> Oh, oh I guess that's what I saw. Oh, wow, really FF, huh? I'm amazed he ever wins CS with all these FFs. <laughs> that said, Tom's got CS now. Good he stuff. tried to brain trap with the uh, Oh, the just floor. wakes up mashing 5A. Oh, fucking Tom's teabagging to prep for 2 2 looks so funny. Wake up the O. And Burial actually loses 4 uh, of the Yeah, and you got caught by Ben Sinister. That's so interesting. You gotta spend that. Yeah, lock him down. Oh, oh doesn't work. Oh, with the overhead. Because okay. charge FF does so much damage. What does Ben Sinister mean? What? Jasmine knows what that means. Oh, nice DZ. But not counterhead. Did he have two and four A's from that range? Uh, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. What does 236 medium mean? <laughs> Imagine knowing the actual move names in this game. For Hyde, I do, just because all the commentators that I watch know those move names. All right, Tom with the CSBDP. Fighting oh. for his life oh here. Oh my god! You don't respect the suspect, you just did. Dude, this is set point for Burial. That's it. That's it. And he wins. On into Grand Finals. Now Tom's like the loser says. Yeah, yeah, Tom's not out of Fighting Roxy or Otako. But yeah, hide, hide move names are very well known. Not to say move names, not at all, because they're like, let the fleur carry you. Avance with you. Stupid names like that. But hide names are edgy enough that everyone remembers them. Wait, Tom came back in. I don't know why Tom oh. came back in. Tom, you we're out. <laughs> <laughs> we 
We gotta do Roxy versus Otako first. the advantage in this matchup? Seth or Hilda? I do not play either of those characters. You know that. I don't know. From what I've seen, it seems like Seth. Really? Just okay. because Seth has more consistently like difficult to deal with neutral, but... Yeah, let me. One is Hilda, one is Seth. All right, well, Jazzard, the Seth player, says, I'm pretty sure Seth wins. And all until Melody says he hates fighting Seth, so... It seems like he's leaning towards Seth winning the matchup. But I gotta also say that Roxy has pretty good pressure in terms of staggers, and... Uh, Otoko's, I would say, weakest point is his defense. Yeah, I don't know, I feel like Roxy doesn't really have a lot of, like, the Seth mobility down pat yet, you know? He doesn't have the Seth neutral exactly down, but what he has may still be enough to beat out Hilda's buttons. Until Melody saying that Seth has an answer to everything Hilda does, so I'd say it's in favor. It's his favor. Mm. <laughs> right, I remember Mo telling me at one point that Seth EXDP is really good versus Hilda as of clear. Oh, That's working really well. And he needs 5CCs. Oh, but Grunt's the combo. What if shielding like crazy versus Roxy's pressure here? But he's not and really visible. using it. Oh my god. That's error. Very shenanigans. What if not blocking the cross up A dive? People say that's mixed. It really is. It's so easy to block even on that player. Oh, uh, that was uh, quite a weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, what if jumped into J6Q3C? Roxy with a hard call out there. That was yes, not was. advised. Roxy's ready for those, uh, those air DP. Oh, okay, what if not doing the rest oh, of that spring there? Oh, it doesn't block the overhead. Let's block it again. As true, as true. Like a yeah. Rough. I feel like sometimes that just happens with him. It's mad. It's a mad It just happens to me. Sometimes you get perfect. <laughs> no. Oh, cool. It road. happens no matter who you play, man. You get perfect in this game. Um, How many hit points does Hilda have? I feel like Seth just melts. I don't think oh, Hilda has that many more. A little less than average, I think. I'm pretty sure the average. I'm pretty sure the average hit point total in this game is weird. What was that? I feel like I don't know what the was. No. Maybe that was pin starter. I wasn't really paying attention. Oh, and then catches oh, him on the left. That's the overhead. So to go up. Oh, no. Roxy trying to play the ground game a little too hard in these later rounds, I feel like. I don't know how much of an answer Hilda has versus Seth's air game, but I imagine it's not that solid. 
just been around for this world. Now that 623C has been mentioned, I'm seeing an absurd number of gaps. Yeah. No, I was talking to Mo about that a long time ago, and apparently 623C is just the answer to the Hilda matchup for Seth. Because it's a super horizontal DP. Nice ADP, okay. Oracle doesn't block. Or sorry, A dive. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting all messed well, up. These combos, but Otoko's not blocking. Oh no! Oh, oh no! I can't tell if he got kid out of landing recovery there after that fastball. But Otoko ready to punish it regardless. Nice. Roxy doing a decent job of blocking there. He's got CS, and there's too so many gaps here in these strings. He should be mashing DD during these. Oh my god, run out of way! Wow! Oh, but oh, I should. Hi! Oh, And he confirms. Okay, little touch and go for Roxy there. Yeah, I thought he was going to be like the pressure. Oh, Mesh is 5 a. Oh, Roxy just blocked. Roxy's got CS here. And 200 here. He's taking all of these mix up unnecessarily. He can really just be CSing during these block strings. Oh. Oh, that's the out on some meter for. Slams the VO button. Whoa, that was strange. Does not take the cold throw. E3C. 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 Oroka does not have any meter to get them out. Oh, there's the cross the board. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, it's not going to convert off the board. Oh, nice. Roxy ties it up. Yeah, punish with the whip dash C. Good stuff. Uh, they're both the same move, they just appear at different distances. Oh, apparently he wasn't crossing off the floor. Oh, when Hilda got hit by the orb in the corner? Yeah. I'm just... Wrong. He's just baiting the punish, essentially, while he has Orb out to cover it. <laughs> wow, what type of just... Roxy is just letting Otoko mash. Oh, oh man, man. Oh, Nice 2A. Oh, aware Okay. You worry of Zio? Yep. Yeah, Here we go. That's what you gotta expect. That's Aaron Blanc. Oh. Yeah, just drop an arm. Wait for a second. Actually, it's not even a problem. On 63C, anyway. Oh, a dive kick. Yeah, Malarkey's right. Roxy's got to internalize the fact that Otaku has woken up with Vio and every single time he has a 100 meter on knockdown. You can also just OF it. Yeah, meaty 2A. 1A, 1A. And this is... Okay. Does not convert off of the only hit he has gotten. This is looking really rough for you, Rock. Yeah. Nice to be done. Good punishment. Okay. This is a start. Oh! Let's oh. see Orb will save him. Oh! Rock. Oh, get okay. him. Oh, no. Stand blocking. Oh, that's... Otoko will go on to fight Tom.
It really was unfamiliarity, it seemed like. I mean, on both sides. Every time Otaku got hit by an A dive on cross up, I could tell that he just didn't know the matchup. I gave Otaku the downloading connection test block, says Jasmine. Jasmine unwillingly uh, stacking the odds against Roxy in bracket. Yeah, Roxy is, got. Uh, versus Jasper, Jasper, I think. Yeah. Or I'm just misremembering. I mean, the main thing is just Roxy needed to bait Rio at least like once. Yeah. Like. Trip drop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can't bait it with six six B. It's got to be with a two A or something. Apparently, Otoko all tagged. Well, <laughs> they crashed this game. I'll be right back in the meantime. No, Jazz. This is Hyde Hilda. This is the same matchup as Dylan versus Odegaard, yeah. but... It'll be interesting um, to see how Tom plays it. I think Tom's pressure is a lot better than Dylan's. Uh, yeah. I'll just say that. So I think you can just frame trap. Oh, thank you, Jess. Yeah. There's too many of them. Yeah, I know. They're multiplying. Her husband's killing them. Everybody is getting hit by the second hit of the G. And nobody's blocking the hit. What a weird dark world. And now, Tom is on. Oh, what a 5A. Yeah. Didn't really manage to like, stay to keep the corner. He kind of got booted yeah. straight out the second he took him out. Yeah, then medium. Still tried to go for an assault. And then he pays for it. I'm back. I would love to see someone assault over the PC. It's a little tough. Um, I don't think assault's the answer. Just regular jump forward is the answer to a lot of Hilda's options sometimes. See if Tom can capitalize on having the corner. See if he's ready for the VO. No. No. Yeah. The Hogo doesn't play for the Nice oh, though. Oh, he was ready for the IWAX. Ace the IWAX, yeah. No! He was the one who did it too, so... Good. Yep, you cannot match them. Especially... Plus... Plus... Congrats, Nick. <laughs> you disappoint me, Nick. <laughs> wow, nice laser. laser. It doesn't convert, oh, it does though. Not convert. Uh, oh, goes in neutral. No Elfman's this journey? No, there were no Elfman's. Elfman graduated last time. Yes, the last tourney we had Magikarp graduate, I think. Right? Was that the Elmer? Yeah. We've had two Elmers graduate. I think it's Omni and Magikarp. I thought Omni lost to Uncle Sam. Did he? Okay, yeah. has Omni just not played again since then? Yeah. Okay. 
Omni. <laughs> I got smoked. I'm sorry for bringing back bad memories, Omni. <laughs> It's so odd to me that Otaku does not special cancel 66B on round stars. Nice 5A. The range on that button. He isn't able to block the, the overheads. Ooh, getting caught in the scramble after CS there. Otaku just mashing and Tom not expecting that. Tom's got to go back to layer 1, I feel like. I'll it 50-50. You just guessed wrong. That's how it goes. I actually have not seen good Odako go for the low follow-up. Uh, he's done it a few times as far as I've seen this tournament. The thing is, if you're going to... If you are going to say he's going to go high on that 50-50, you might as well stand shield the second hit. Because that way it makes it minus eight. Hey, Rion. Wow, oh. right. Hailbringer. That's not enough. Oh, he was right. Oh, there's no punish. <laughs> trade oh, with the second no. right hand. Sometimes just got to trade. Tom does not want we're talking to win cycle here and he doesn't let him oh that hell when you're with but otaku doesn't punish All these pins are missing. Yeah. is just kind of autopiloting on pressure here with these pins. Nice blocks though, that was good. Uh, but doesn't block this 2C. Oh, I keep talking. Omni says I keep hearing about the layers, what do they mean? Uh, we're just talking about how, like, layer one is, like, what you would do when you're playing against someone for the first time. Do meaties, you know, run up throw, that kind of thing. And layer two is, like, you counterplaying in the mind games after that. He went for Odako for now. I'm really have to reverse 3-0 to have a chance. Wait, what? There's more games. Yeah, yeah, but there's more. <laughs> First to three, no. Until Melody is giving the better description of layers there. It's the, I know you know I know, so I know you know I know, etc, etc. But layer one is just playing on the default layer. And a lot of players in fighting games start on layer two, which is a bad idea. I don't like over staggering, like leaving too many gaps in staggers. Yeah, or just respecting wake up when they haven't DP'd yet. Stuff yeah. like that. Oh, get some with the charge 5C overhead. Tom completes the combo, puts Otaku in the corner. Yes, that's pretty true. Nice. Otaku yeah. yeah. did not have any meters to like actually reversal. Nice. So, uh, that was special, but it's yeah. not really good. I agree with this. I don't really see the point of that 2 2 uh, CS, especially since CS and 2 2 2 early makes the flames never come out. Oh, what a reaction! That couldn't have been on purpose. That's too rago for Tom, I feel like. Please be surprised. Really? I think it was on purpose. I'm playing like a madman right now. Yeah, I don't know anymore. I'm not sure if walking is bad so that Hilda can get out before you get a deal. 
Nice block on the charge. Yeah, that's not blocked. Uh, other overhead. Yeah, so if you block that second hit of the JC, then she can't do that JB. So that's another thing for there. Shield. I'm sorry, yeah, I can shield it. My bad. Oh, what, what are these? They have oh, the oh. accidents. Oh my god, Hellbringer. Nice! Fates out the VO with dash C. Good stuff. Dude, that's a start. He's on the board. Oh, run up, bro. <laughs> nice. I would have preferred a run up, bro. No, Hilda's in the corner. Oh, 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 and so, oh, okay. if it hits the corner, it will oh. bounce back and then move the distance that it would have covered. Oh before. my god, no fear of mashing the Oh, he tried to do something there. I actually have no idea what that was. No. Oh. Wow, wake up 5C. Oh, he blocked the... Oh, you gotta expect yeah. that. Oh. Oh. Nice. I don't know what that charge 5C was, to be honest. Drop the combo. Combo is really Oh, let's go up stand block. It's at the last moment for those pins. Yeah. But... What? That pin connected? Not having a great time getting in. Nice, no! Again, this is why you have to shield that second hit of JC. Oh, oh my Rex. god, Tom. The desperation I sure is. That is. He's, he is grid broken here. And he doesn't get OP! Yeah, and that's it. That was, that was from frustration. Yeah. That's it. 3 1. Odeko is back. And it's gonna be Odeko versus Burial Agent. Burial Agent. Agent. The one who took. Was he the one who took Odeko? Uh, no, he sent Tom Clancy. To no, oh, right. Yeah. Odeko got sent down way earlier. I'm not actually sure who sent him. In the first round by DD. Yeah. I love Faded just saying, that sucked. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Omni really cheering on Burial Agency. Pet shop in, in uh, Heritage for the Future. That's a different analogy altogether. Pet shop in that game is broken. I assume it's gonna be 6xp for Otoko and like dash block for Burial. Yeah. I think we might see around there dash C though. Yeah, it is possible. Yeah, Burial Agent. Finally, is music! <laughs> <laughs> what, what is with you people and your obsession with music? Stream quality. You don't need it. <laughs>
Unity music is crap. Anyway, music Hilda Dash B good. is 12 frame startup, so Wagner Dash C technically beats it. The oh, oh, there was a dash right. B though. Alright, alright, alright. You were exactly right. Oh, Fine, Amber. Already. Holy Puts shit. Puts Hilda exactly where she doesn't want to be. Oh, that was just good oh, oh, staggers. But again, his windows were a little bit too big. It's like what Wooper was saying before. Those were like layer two staggers, you know? Like. I think he's been watching all the streams though. <laughs> Accidentally green shielded past the last hit of uh, dash B. Doesn't get the air hit by B, but gets a two, uh, dash C confirmed. These combos are real weird. They are weird, <laughs> but you know, that one worked. Yeah, they work, whatever. Has Burial done the staircase combo yet? No. Mm. Not we a haven't seen one. it yet. Same round start. He's done like some elements of it. Burial with some good dash blocking. Oh, I guess that's not uh, yes. But he's still winning. That was supposed to be a dash C 100%. Alright, they're already going for Oh, this is over in. It's like 1900 damage tops, though. Okay. Yeah, but 1900 damage how many times? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right in front of us. Oh, God. Uh, people in chat saying names need to be flipped. Oh, okay. Okay. Yep, there's the classic. Thank you, Nick. Oh! <laughs> Damn, C shield that oh. right through, but Odako just yes. grabs on Wake Up. You need to meet you with like one AA. Uh, perhaps next week we can do Jasper and Wooper commentary. Ooh, meaty to see. <laughs> Uh -oh, runs into the overhead. Losing his job. <laughs> oh my god, that 5B counter hit, dude. This is. Getting hit on purpose. I just gotta get in once. Yeah, this is a. These are data combos. No, gets caught by the low hit of 2CC. The second hit of 2CC is a low, people. You can't. You can react to the charge 5C. Unless Otago's connection is way worse than we've been led to assume, but... I got two frames. Two frames with Otago? Oh, and, uh, I believe Jazz also gets two frames. Okay, okay. So it's, like, very unlikely. Yeah, Roxy's saying my connection is fine. Trip's a consistent commentator. He isn't allowed to be your favorite. That's true. I'm the... I am the... the middle ground. I am the Wonder Bread. The Wonder Bread. <laughs> Burial trying to tuck into Hilda again and try to smash, but getting needed. Oh, dash C, but Hilda dive kick. I personally like really Hilda. I can't believe Isaac has come back. It is an RPS. <laughs> I can't believe Isaac has come back just to call me out for the, my optimism on commentary. <laughs> Damn, Odeko. Really, really going for the reset. Oh, okay, signs of life from Barrel Agency. Oh, um, Odeko mashed off 5A. Burrell's just on layer 2, I think. Um, yeah. He's getting mashed on. It's just like the fact that. Odeko is mashing out with like a little 8 frame start of 5A. Oh, oh, Can't let you get away feeling good about yourself, right? You know, I appreciate it. Someone's gotta keep me in check. He's getting like 5A by it. Like he tries to succeed. Odeko's mashing pretty much every single time Burial's trying to succeed. So I feel like he's just kind of autopiloting into it. He's just getting mashed out because of it. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 Drop the combo. Oh. Oh. Nice! Yeah, yeah, so I really love to do that. He already had sword, but I wonder if he did it up. 
Yeah, there's no Shini. Like that yeah, there's Shinigami really like surprised as we as we are all. Otaku didn't just wake up by wake Oh no, was by the last bit of the wheel. Yeah. Probably like bird box retraction, but it actually extended to the room. No, no, I think it just is is that some of those uh, projectiles on Gloom will just go a little further and than the others. Wow, that was a really fast round. Otoko on the way to the reset. Falcon, man, I'm not the only player who keeps track of the boss I have. You may be the only one in the server. <laughs> Every time I see Empiris do a 236A uh, follow up when he doesn't have sword buff, I go, hmm. That's not no, right. Most of the time when that happens, it's because I'm trying to do 2C and I mess up the timing. Oh, I see. I do keep track. <laughs> <laughs> I just have bad uh, execution. Oh my god, Levy just calling Defy out in chat. <laughs> Is he even a uni player anymore? He only plays Genshin now. <laughs> Damn, Defy hasn't even said anything in a while. He's playing Genshin. Oh no, gets caught by the overhead pin. That's gotta feel so bad. The worst part of pin is like the fucking 40 seconds of hit stop it has to let you know that you fucking blocked wrong. <laughs> oh, there it is again, see? Barrel <laughs> better get something together, otherwise he's got six okay. games of this. Yeah. I mean, it might, not. it might be better for his mental capacity to like, not actually win this. So he has to play less games. No, I get what you're saying. Like, if he like plays more games and just loses, it's gonna be, I feel, I really I can just take the L it. and kind of like reset. But I'm not sure. <laughs> it, it's still giving. He, he's still gonna have to keep playing these games. Yeah. There's no difference. If he wins this match, then he just plays like yeah, I don't really know. Oh Ooh, nice oh smash. Look yeah, this is the data set. Data set for burial. Nice to see but doesn't right. play. Oh, oh why? Why? Why into the CDB? Having two Wagner players on commentary is really funny for this set. <laughs> plus nine, hold it. Plus nine. Otako mashes on plus nine. I would not have went for the optimal end because, yeah. He, he just lost his real stuff. Yeah. Oh, no, barrel agency. You gotta say. Oh my god, what a Okay, barrel agency on the board. 2 1. Are we gonna see the reverse 3 0? <laughs> Jazz wants to hop in and make it 3 Wagner players. <laughs> Fearlessly dash sweet. And now that Otoko has. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say he had some respect for Burial. He wasn't yeah. 5 8. No, Otoko is just mashing out in the corner every single time. I, it's not even the fact that he's mashing out. The fact that he's mashing out 5 A is like super sus. You gotta make your tiger short. Yep. Yeah, yep. stop, stop using 6C. Yeah, 6C is getting mashed up 5A every time. That's what's getting him like. Killed. That's just losing. Oh, that's definitely a nice. And ten for Edie. This is match point for Odoko. For the reset, I mean. She's mashing out on the the six C Shinigami. Oh, nice work. She hates all Wagner players for some reason. Yeah, I don't like Wagner very much as a character. Oh, decent dash block. Nice. Wow, dash okay. oh. oh. Yes, what a <laughs> Okay, Vio Strip. Danger time, danger time. <laughs> oh, get smashed on. You mad? We're calling that danger time is the funniest thing ever. <laughs> Holy shit. I mean, I've, I've heard other people call it danger time. That's super oh, good. Oh, wow. Well. should be able to kill you. Yeah, that's gonna kill. Oh, yeah. yes. Okay, but it's still 200 meters to zero. Yeah, Otoko's gonna probably match Vio on his next wake up. 
No. If you're gonna do the staggers, you might as well commit to them. Nice. Oh, Honestly, the assaults are working way okay, better for him. Good shield buff. There we go. Yep. Oh my god, Otago is. Dude, Barrel Agents are killing himself. I don't want to mix it, but. Oh. Could have killed them, for sure. It's mashed on! He keeps getting mashed on. I mean, it's a good mash. I'm impressed with Otago's yeah. mash. Yeah. Wow, Dash Barrel Agency. Agency yeah. 2 2. Is, wow. is the reverse Rio gonna happen? Maybe actually. Okay, well we're on both. We're we're on both uh, tournament reset and tournament set, so yeah. or tournament game. <laughs> Omni D like. Act like so hyped for Burial Agency in chat. I think we have a decent spot too. And Taco takes the first blood here. Oh. Low goes for the low. Doesn't get as much return off the low. The low's not looking very good for Burial right now. No, it gets hit by the second low hit of 2cc. Burial Agency uh, looking like this perfect. is the beginning of the set here. It's a perfect, but you have to take that. Sometimes you just get perfect in this game. Nice dash C. That's exactly it. Oh, he didn't. That's like minus 10. He got a special cancel though. Oh, interesting. He did 5A instead of 2A there. Nice. Oh, oh nice. Hit. Counter hit, but doesn't Very really weird. Have one. Gets the frame trap to step up. There's the staircase. Yeah, stop, stop the 6 Stop it! He just mashes on it every time. There we go. All right, well they're both on turn. That's something you gotta do too, Imperius. I know, I know. Well, Taco and Barrel are both on tournament reset and tournament point, respectively. Yeah. Oh, no, that so is weird. paying so such weird. dividends for Burial. He just touches him with it once and then takes him straight to the corner. Wow, it's almost as if the corner carry is broken. I remember last time I played for Sonotico, uh, you called... Oh, nice! Silver nice, 2A. He called what? Wagner a silver back gorilla. <laughs> wait, look at... Wait, oh, he this should it. be it. He should kill. No! no, no why? Why? Just 2, 3, 6, B. Oh my oh, god! The reset. resets it! The reset! All he had to do is 236B! Oh, that hurts my soul. Oh, that was truly unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we got a turn. We got a, we got a bracket reset. Yeah. Damn, okay. Petition down. for new commentators. Falcon is screaming, screaming about commentators' curse in chat. We're saying no whack commentators allowed. <laughs> I agree with that one, Jazz. Petition to make Eli rejoin the Discord server. Yes, petition to make Eli rejoin. Here, I'll just send him like 40 invites right now. My commentator's curse is broken. A new sacrifice comes to you. Whoa. What happened? Um. Oh, where are you? Well, you're going to get back in here. There you go. Okay, what random music are we going to get for this set? So... I should hop on stream and say I'm going to fail my, my own tournament. 
It's hard to call out Brown Star Backlash. It's so hard. Nice block on the Jace. It's hard to chase the Oh, okay. Well, oh, that's why Bobby's upset. He doesn't want to heal the player and match this. It doesn't matter. You don't have to win these tournaments to get into match fest. That's true. <laughs> That's true. You could just enter. What if yeah. I just get like random two I don't really understand. You don't stun versus me too. Yeah, he just doesn't block low sometimes during the strings. He's expecting the 6C, I think. I like he's mashing them anyways. Yeah, it's weird. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's so strange. Oh, he tried to chase. Oh, he tried right to I see 5 c there. I saw that animation. I don't know why he's yeah, there. He just, he just doesn't block low. Low. Yeah, he just doesn't block low versus Walker. It's so strange. Oh, nice. Good okay. Uh, but he still loses the Warble cycle. Yeah, that's important. Uh, it's yeah, uh, and he's gonna lose the second Warble cycle after that. Oh, but he gets that dash C. Again, that move can do so well from Harry Light and C. I think he messed up the... Oh, it doesn't block the pins. Yeah, he keeps getting clipped by the pins. That dropped. Good punish. Now you can get a double box from the meaty. Oh, oh my god. god. He takes the first one. I mean, he was gonna win Vorpal, so he could, he could make it safe anyways. Backdash round start. Man, yeah, there's just nothing. I, what can Wagner do to punish, to call out round start? I mean, I guess if you have godlike reaction times, like delay or like 6 or No, something. we're not talking about reactions. Like, if you read the backdash, you just do like run up and then like after a short delay, dash C. Is that the one? Is that what yeah, you Yeah. That's probably what you do. Or, I mean, you can just. Uh, shield bash, I know. No, there's no way. I think shield bash startup is too late. It's too slow for that. Like, dash up shield bash? Oh, oh my god. Barrel agency. He's... Yeah, barrel agency needs to convert off of these staggers. He's getting them. Because Otaku is just mashing a lot of this. Nice. D oh my god. That's such a good block on the pitch. Good. Oh my god. Oh, you got it. Oh, oh my god, god. it's really Rago. What? Magic Rago is just a gorilla. <laughs> literally just like, plays her way in. The staggers have gotten much tighter as the set's gone on. They need to be tighter, yeah. Be Again, look at this. Like, every time a Hilda mashes out with an A frame button, you can find money for the staggers. Yeah. <laughs> No, but oh, as it's gotten it's tighter, Otoko stopped mashing on the 6C. Oh, good. He just the blocked him. Yep. Oh, catches him with the 6C <laughs> just <laughs> 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 And then actually gets the IW this time. And Barrel yeah. Agency goes two up in the three-set bracket. Damn, Burial Agency looking nice. Armfield saying, yo, how the fuck is Hilda supposed to play into Winston from Overwatch? When am I making a watch time command? I can put one together. What? A watch time command. Okay, on that. I'm that dash with the barrel agency. Oh. You gotta respect that. What you can do is on A Bloom setups, you can back tech back dash to avoid the stuff entirely. Nice! You win the, 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 yeah, the 5C. 
Before... Oh, there's the man. Press the dash, please. What? Round seven. We have uh, the character where the loser has like a grand final spawn. You've definitely had a bracket reset in a win before, right? Yeah. I feel like you wouldn't be. Oh my god. Being DP instead of the, the drill. Oh, oh the grid break in the end. The horrible cycle. Forward text into a uh, meaty. Unfortunate. Yeah, it's looking. Yep. Yeah, that's rough. I feel like Barrel Agency either has to play it calmer or he has to play even more manic than he has yeah. been. He's got to play either like full gorilla mode or. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about full gorilla mode. He needs to do something either absolutely wild or play really, really, really stable and consistent. I think he has just to play more wild since he's not blocking these pins. He's got to like not be able to block. Well, the thing is, that I feel like Barrel Agency needs to kind of there we go counter not being in the air more, but that also works. Oh, that's very bad for her because the run of five feet. Nice no, nice. Yep. He has really good too much against them. Against Getting hit by the low and then... <laughs> Getting matched oh, up. Match up. Match up. Match up. DP? Oh, he could have oh. DP'd there. I think maybe he tried to. I think he a 7 frame bot that will go. And this is match point for Burial Agency. Yeah. Second cross. You can't do anything about clear 63 other than using it to get mildly closer. Yeah, 63A for him. Oh, yeah. The frame advantage on 63A is still good. Royal wins the more powerful. Gets a player to It's so tra tragic every time I see someone stand block something and then get hit by an overhead. How do you feel, Steve? Constantly missing these 5Bs. And it's gonna kill for it. Nice, good break, bro. Good call out. Nice! And calls out the DO. He's got plenty of meter here, too. And he he won't kill. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. won't kill. Right, gotta watch out for just for the game. Yep. Yes! Oh, he calls it out! And good call out. He wins. It takes the, the reset. Tournament. Number yeah. 13. Calls out the most. Obvious IWEX in the world and burial agency takes it. Good stuff. 3 1. <laughs> barrel agency spamming wow. Wagner in the lobby chat. <laughs> that was awesome. Otaku with the emphatic. Fuck you, lol, at Burial Agency in Twitch chat. We had a couple Wagner graduates now, haven't we? So, what's after me? Uh, me and Bird. Yeah. Oh, Our... Solid is a Wagner player, but he didn't win. With yeah, Wagner. he won with Lin. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's our second like Wagner winner of the beginner. Hey, Nick, I need to have a couple weeks where I just grind. <laughs> but what was everyone's favorite uh favorite match roxy versus dd <laughs> roxy versus dd that was really hype. That was so sick that j623 after cs at the end of that set was so fucking sick like it was incredible uh was, was really the reset cool. the reset set was really like hyped in a weird way because Burial dropped out last diode. W. I, that was so tragic. I mean, I'm glad the burial won in the end, but oh my god, very tragic. I actually liked uh, Bracky versus Odeko. I liked it because I feel like it showed how much better Bracky's gotten. Bracky has gotten a lot better. I would say that like. 
pointed directly at Bracky, that's not the way you want to handle that matchup. Crazy Train isn't a good way to handle that matchup because it's not like counterplay. Because all because it's so easy to jump those things. Oh yeah. It's so easy yeah. to jump Crazy Train from full screen distance. You're essentially relying on your opponent to make mistakes, which is like not the way you want to handle a matchup in a fighting game. That's true. But I did like that he kind of like came up with the solution, so I wasn't being punished, and then just like went from there. That's true. Yeah. And he took a couple rounds in the whole thing. It wasn't like it was a blowout. Yeah, Bracky has has definitely improved. I definitely see a few holes in his plan. Mm. I see a lot of two three sixes that when he has CS aren't being CS'd. Stuff oh, like that. Yeah. Wait, it says forty one squats. Oh, you fucking overloaded the. Wait, it oh, only went to one thousand, so it's forty one now. Yeah, you have overloaded the G the GUI for the squats thing. Oh yeah, sorry. You're at a, we're at a thousand forty one, but there aren't enough digits to display <laughs> the amount. Oh no. Roxy's saying in found the loophole. <laughs> <laughs> More squads, please. I hope people enjoyed my commentary since this was my first time. Yeah, you did good, Wolfram. Um, but yeah, we have uh, Mash Fest tomorrow. If you're signed up and you haven't gotten your connection tested, please get your connection tested. Um, you have to get yep. OKs from two people, Southeast and Northeast. We've been so, cracking down. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like the connections today overall were much, much better. I mean, the connection <laughs> test thing is a good idea. I think we should have done it in the first place. We have been. Yeah. It's just that, like, a lot of people have been kind of slipping through the cracks. We haven't been really super on top of it, I guess. Uh, yeah. Thanks, Bye. everyone. <laughs> Garm's calling you out on your mic quality, Wooper. Looper, Wooper, is really laptop mic is, it's very obviously like a laptop microphone. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's his first time, it's his first time. Oh, Defy is in the commentary booth, hello. Hey gamer. You got things to say? Is Dylan streaming? Uh, Dylan Roxy was the best match, clearly. Dylan Roxy? Oh, yeah, that was good too. I just can't get over that CS J six two three C during the Dylan match. That it was clip so was good. Amazing. Or the DD match. We had some good clips today. Although and salty Jasper. clipping me being salty. <laughs> <laughs> I was there for that, so And Pierce, I know, bro, I know. You this coming back going curses. like I'm fine. I'm just, I'm okay. <laughs> I was like I can't talk right now, I gotta wait a second. I, I need I'm a not salty at all. I'm totally okay. I'm hip. <laughs> I was like, I just, I need to take a couple deep breaths. You gotta get that sexy habit out of you. Yeah. What well, was yeah, working? You... So I was like, I'm, I'm a clean in the corner with six C's. <laughs> but you know I'm... what else also working for your opponent is they were mashing out of your pressure. No, he started, Otako didn't start mashing out of six C until I conditioned him to mash out of six C. And that's, that's why, oh, why he that's mashed not... out of it on burial. <laughs> you almost indirectly led to Burial's downfall in tournament. Oh no, Nick, I wasn't on the verge of tears. It takes much more than me losing a uni set to be on the verge of tears. Choking back <laughs> tears. I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm not salty. <laughs> Yo, Salty cried when we played a uni set, dude. It's pretty based. I'm not surprised. His name is Salty. Highly bro. His name is Salty. He has to. I mean, I've been told. He told me at some point that his name is Salty because he used to have like an anger issue when he played. <laughs> he still has an anger issue. I don't know what he means. <laughs> All right. I have an anger issue you too. Good job, Wooper. Yeah, really good Thank job. You. It was a it was a good bracket today. I feel like we saw a lot of really. The really only solid thing that I'd have, I'd have to oh, say is get a fucking better mic. Everyone <laughs> <laughs> calling you out on it, man. Sorry. Mic. That's it. Yeah, yeah, your your mic sensitivity is real weird, man. Cause it like 
it catches you and then you fade out like real fast when oh, you start. Oh no, talking. that's because I'm doing push to talk since there's. Oh, uh, what are you doing? What's to talk for? What, are you in like a dog kennel for a household or something? <laughs> a fucking dog kennel. Dylan's not streaming. Mark Dylan, is, start Mark streaming. is watching this. <laughs> <laughs> Don't send it to Mark, dude. He's, he's, he's a bully. I can send you guys Mark? to Zenny. Okay, sure. Why not? Send it to the fuckfest Melty stream. Where is that? Uh, Melty? The, Thanks. The Thanks, Defy. You've really I'll helpful there. I'll send you the there. stream. Hold on, I'll send you the stream. Here you go, I'm Pierce. The 2v2? Yes, yeah, the 2v2 turn. I have to say, between the two alternate, the two alternate Roxy clips, between Salty's future pro Roxy Halo and Shaylee's, in all caps, the Roxy Yuzu players are virgins. This is how a real Chad <laughs> uses CS special. I think we know which one's the better clip title. Dude, I'm kind of like scared because mm. like I joined the 2v2. I haven't even played with, so I joined this random person. And apparently he's yet? like a really good belty player. So <laughs> oh, man, you're going to let him down. I think I'm going to get <laughs> carried. I think Sending I'm going to get carried. Now. I think I'm Everyone will get to gaze upon your failures as you get carried. <laughs>